What's going on, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the After Party stream. Uh, they're over there wrapping it up right now on JP Uncut's channel. Oh, uh, man. Oof, so much heresy. It gave me a headache. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I don't, I don't think we're going to go that long today. Probably just do it. Do this for about an hour, an hour and a half, and that's it. Uh, I, I, I don't I don't have. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hangry. And so I don't have the patience to to listen to a buffoonery for too much longer. Um, so, but welcome to the, the after party stream, man. We're discussing the Trinity, the deity of Christ, the personhood of the Holy Spirit, all of these things, all of these scriptures, uh, all of these concepts is what we're talking about. Um, uh, we had, you know, had the discussion with young Don, Bryson Gray and uh, Kingdom in Context, uh, who's also known as Sean. Uh, so those were the guys who were, um, on the opposing side uh, against the Trinity and against the uh, the deity of Christ. Um, so uh, just waiting for them to all come on in. You guys can, uh, as you already know, hit that like button. Make sure that you guys who are under the sound of my voice, smash that like button. OK, hit the like button so that we could be in the algorithm. Uh, Sam Stramon should be coming up pretty soon as well. And my boy Albie. So let's see if we can get if we can get these guys in here. Um, let me see. Let me make sure I send them the link. Hello, Hogan in the house. What's up, what's buddy? Up, man, man hey, what's, what's up, going man? with you, man? Good to see you, man. I mean, let me just do something here. Let me go on. The... What's up? What happened? I know you Good had to see you too, man. Good to see you too. It wasn't that fun. It wasn't that fun towards the end. It was just it's just a lot of evasiveness and uh you know and just uh, just too much, too much of that, man. It gave me a little headache, you know. So uh inviting them they, what's up? Why didn't they have me join you guys for the initial discussion? Uh you already know why, because uh they they say that uh you know the excuse is Sam uh is disrespectful, Sam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. so when they disrespect and talk over people, in fact, for the record, <clears throat> the reason why I went after Bryson Gray the way it is because the way he was treating Psycho Woods, Sicko, Sicko, yeah, well, I'm sorry, I call him Psycho, okay, Sicko, okay, he's not Psycho, my, my apologies. So when you treat them the way they treat others, and eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, yeah, and go to Proverbs 26 5, none they complain, but that's narcissism, brother. Yes, it is. No, can, yeah, yeah that, that, that's exactly what it is. What's going on, Ruslan? Ruslan. <laughs> the, the initial, the initial discussion for everybody who's going to be looking for it. The initial discussion is on JP Uncut's channel. You'll see it. Uh, uh, the most recent upload. It's still he's like cutting it off now, so it's not done yet. Probably, uh, like they're literally about to be on their way over here. So go on JP Uncut's channel to watch the full discussion. It's about uh, a little over two hours long. Um, and so, you know, take what, take what you can, <laughs> take what you can. Oh, what channel was it? JP Uncuts, JP Uncut. Yeah. That's his channel. Um, I'm not sure if you know him. Is he a Trinitarian? Sure. That's what I want to, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, he's a Trinitarian. Oh, good yeah. Lord, the Father, Son, Spirit. I'm glad yeah. you, someone said, you, Sean Griffin, I'm glad you handled him well, uh, because I know he debated Matt Slick and he's weird. God has, uh, male genitalia. And mm -hmm. streets, and there's yeah. a spirit is made of water and power. I mean, we're really out there, but glory to God, promises. Yeah, better. I'm here to serve. I mean, absolutely. And <laughs> shout out to Radar Apologetics, who also was there holding it down That's for crazy. us, man. Uh, bro. So, That's crazy, bro. I don't know and how you know, you know what's and you know what's crazy, bro. Look, I got I got patience for these guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm more of a sniper versus a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Um, line it up, but you know, for and I was telling other stuff, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of heresy in there, and it's a lot of weird new stuff that they're coming out with. And for me, this happens when people are distant from community, right? They don't have covering, they don't have people that they're building with, they're coming up with their own things and trying to be their own teachers. And I think that's where this stuff kind of comes from. That's what John yeah. Griffin admitted in his discussion with Matt Slick, for the most part. I think if you watch that debate, he pretty much admits that. He's a lone wolf McQuaid, so but be that as it may, you know. 
And yeah, he keeps saying he likes to speak Hebrew terms, Yeshua. I don't know what else, but yeah. Does anyone know what he labels himself? What is his particular views on? talking about Sean? Sean Griffin? Yes, Sean Griffin. Not necessarily. I don't know. I, I His stuff is weird, man. He's, it's he's, really weird, man. He's yeah. weird. He's weird, man. He's like yeah. Yeah. downright Mormonism almost. And with a mix of Jehovah's Witnesses and just he he's weird, Sam. He's really yeah, weird. That's why you got to watch the debate with Matt Slick because it came out. He pretty much admits when God created man in his image, that means God has a body. He's a male. He has male genitals. He said that. He excretes. He can eat food. And he says, I don't know if Jesus had a beginning. The Bible doesn't say that. So I'm okay with Jesus having no beginning. But then the spirit, on the other hand, is not a person. And then he defines spirit as water and the power of God, a mixture of the two. Mm. That's what I got from the debate. Yeah. Matt Slick. So. Yeah. Yeah. He The last time we, me and Radar spoke to him, or the first time we spoke to him, he, he came out talking about how he uh, he believes that that God's ontology is made up of, of water, like actual liquid. Yes. And and spirit, like oh my goodness, I was I'm like yeah, this this is this is tough right here. This this right here is another level. He says that the the angels and the um, and God have the same ontology simply because God is spirit and angels are spirit beings. So therefore, they have the same ontology. Yeah. That's what he does. That's, that's that's his type of reasoning, man. Yes, water. For those of you guys are asking, yes, he see things that God is made up of water. Yes, he said because he says spirit is composed of water and the power of God, because he butchers John three verse five because that's what I got from the debate with Matt Slick, born of water and spirit. See, and then he <clears throat> butchers First Corinthians fifteen to show that we will have a body like Yeshua, Jesus. And Jesus's body is not physical. It's spiritual. It's a spiritual body and a spiritual body to be born of water and spirit. See, when I'm born water of spirit, that means I will have a spiritual body because I'm not born again yet. He interprets John 3, 5 as referring to the resurrection where we'll have that kind of body. Right, 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 right. So, 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 so what do you think, Sam? He, he tried to, uh, he tried to go, was going and talking about worship yes. and he tried to talk about the distinction between uh temple worship that's due only to the father temple yeah, worship yeah and then uh and then you have like obeisance worship that the son can also be included of but no one else uh let me butcher that argument by the grace of jesus christ but one thing he is correct in this in the scriptures you'll find matthew 4 10 it's only in the greek i mean we have the greek translation of our lord's words he says that <clears throat> when he says to say that's matthew 4 10 and luke 4 8 says Away from me, saying, depart from me, for it's written, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The word serve is latruo. Now, the question is, what is latruo? What does that encompass? And how is that distinguished from the honor given to others? So he he's correct in that latruo refers to temple worship. It's really referring to sacrifices given to God that cannot be given to a creature. Offerings to God. That is an exclusive worship. That can only be given to God. That The reason why we know that is because Latruo is the translation of the Aramaic term used in Ezra, in the portions of Ezra that are Aramaic and Daniel. You know when it says Pilach, the son of man will receive Pilach? Yeah. That Aramaic word? Well, that's rendered in certain versions of the Greek as Latruo. And if you look at the word for Pilach in the Aramaic, Aramaic lexicon, it refers to priestly service. The type of worship that priests offer to God in connection with the temple. Now, when he says it's given to God alone, not to Jesus, again, this is what happens when you're a Bible butcher. Because let me repeat what I said, because I know I speak fast. That's why I repeat myself more than once. This worship that he's referring to, which in Greek would be deemed latruo, Aramaic, pilach. Now, in the Hebrew, it's more flexible. You have the word avad or abad, the, the vav, modern Hebrew, right? But anyway. That refers to sacrificial worship, priestly worship, sacrifices priests given to God. When he says this is to get, be given to the Father alone, not the Son, then he hasn't read Revelation 20, verse 6. When I go to Revelation 20, verse 6, you'll see God and the Lamb have priests, meaning the priests give to the Lamb the same type of worship given to God. And what kind of worship? Sacrificial worship. 
It's Revelation 20, verse 6. I so like in your discussion, but if you want to read it, show it, it's up to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that real quick. Sorry, I'm uh posting a lot of this stuff. And then I'm gonna show you that the Holy Spirit <clears throat> receives latruo, the very word that Jesus says is to be given to God alone in Matthew 4:10 and Luke 4 8. If you read it carefully, it's in English you don't see what serve is because there's another Greek word for serve, duleo, doulas, a servant, duleo, a servant who gives duleo service. That's general. You can give that to God or others out of love for God, but it's latruo, and he says only God is to receive latruo. Also, you have the form lat latria, but anyway, in Revelation 20, verse 6, does Christ have priests serving him? 20, verse 6. All right. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such, the second death has no power. But they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. So he just now ended up proving with that logic, Jesus is God who receives the highest form of worship. Why? Wow. Because Jesus has priests serving him the same way they serve God the Father. Exactly. And what kind of worship do priests give? They give latruo, pilach, temple service, yeah. offerings to yeah. God and man. So wow. right there. Moreover, to connect it, just connect it. Our Lord himself said in John 5, 23, his words are very plain and explicit. Yep. <laughs> you are to give the son the same honor you give to the father. Yes. So how do I honor the father? Whatever definition you come up with, I'll leave it to you. Mm -hmm. I have to give the son the exact same worship. So mm -hmm. if you're saying God alone receives, let's say, sacrificial worship or priestly worship. Well, Jesus says the way you honor the father, you are to honor me. So mm -hmm. if you are to give him that kind of service, you must give it to me. It's right yeah. there, John 5, 23. Yeah. Confirmed by Revelation 20, verse 6. Exactly. That's beautiful, Sam. So before we continue on with this, let me give a a, a shout out to, to Joey, who says, you defended the truth like a soldier. God bless all. Thank you so much, Joey. I appreciate you so much. And let then we have... One second. Let's go ahead. Okay. And then we have um, Mello, who says, Sam, you got to... You're going to have to lure Don Unborn into a combo, for real. He leading no, I, our children listen, away from the true be, Jesus. Yeah, let me be real clear. I'm not, I'm not a debater who looks to debate people. I'm not. Maybe people think because I'm a little too tough. No, I don't care for debates. I only debate when I have to. I only debate when I have to put people in their place if they're getting too arrogant and puffed up, and blaspheming the Trinity or bullying Christians. Don doesn't want to discuss with me. That's his prerogative. I'm not interested in winning an argument with Don. For what? At the end of the day, what we really want is these men to wake up, come to their senses, and come to worship the true God. Until they do, the only reason I debate him is to put him in his place. He's not interested, so I don't waste my time. The problem with many of us is we view ministry as if it's UFC. We want to get down and dirty and get bloody and beat people up. That's not That should not be, and I'm being honest here, the motive in doing apologetics. You want to build up the body of Christ. You want to answer objections and answer questions from people who sincerely want the answers. So like I said, the only time I'll debate these individuals is to put them in the place because when I see them being rude or blasphemous or talking down to Christians, that I don't like. I don't like bullies. That's why I jumped in on your stream because I saw how Bryson Gray was ma ma uh, mocking Seiko, you said? Seiko. Yeah, that's why I jumped in. So then I stooped to his level, right? And answer the fool according to his folly. And I treated him the way he was treating Seiko. People got upset at me for giving him a taste of his own medicine. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Damn but I do want to I want to show where the Holy Spirit receives Latro. Remember Matthew 4:10? God yes. alone to be given Latro. Did you know? Yes. Sadly, I had not known the Greek clearly says the spirit is to be given Latro because. Unfortunately, in your translations, they insert the word in when it's not in the Greek. What do I mean? If you go to Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, and if you look at God's word translation, it actually captures the Greek. Philippians 3, verse 3, there is no preposition in, because in your translation will say, we are the true circumcision who worship God in the spirit. That's not what it says. It says, we are the true worship or circumcision 
who worship the Spirit of God. Hmm. The okay. preposition is by or in, which yeah. in Greek would be in, is not there. There is no preposition. There is a preposition when it says in Christ Jesus. So if you open up God's word translation, if you just open all translations, it actually shows you there that it's we are the circumcision who the Spirit of God are worshiping. It actually says a sign that you are a true circumcised believer, spiritually circumcised, is that you worship the Holy Spirit. Here it is. That's a little translation of the Greek. Mm -hmm. We are true circumcised people of God because we serve God's spirit. Guess what the word serve is? So what are the two signs that you're truly spiritually circumcised, born of the spirit? Number one, you worship the spirit of God. Give the spirit la truo, and you boast in Christ Jesus as your Lord. Yeah. And again, don't take my word for it. If you go to BibleHub.com, the Greek, and you look at Philippians 3.3, 3, you're going to see there, there is no preposition in. It's not there. They supply it. I don't know why. I guess some translators have a difficult time with Paul saying that we give the Holy Spirit la truo, which is the worship that's to be given to God alone. And the fastest way to do that, brother? Well, anyway, you got it. You just do Philippians 3-3. But anyway, it'll take you there. You're there already. No, no, no. Okay. You see the word in, they put in English, but it's not there. It's oi pneumati theu latriontes. The preposition in is not there. Unlike if you go further and glor glorying in, there's a preposition over there. Oh, yeah. I see it. But yeah. there's no preposition here. Even though the English puts the word in, it's not there. It's oi pneumati. We, the spirit, pneumati theu latriontes. We, the spirit, worshiping. Mm -hmm. That's a little translation. So don't forget this. This is another text showing the Holy Spirit must be a divine person. Who is worshipped as God because he's given Latruo. Yeah. Yeah. That's good right there, man. That's good. Wow. And how long uh, did it take for you to, to learn that, Sam? You well, didn't know that this whole time? There was Father Kappas is his name. He submitted an article. And I forget what the article was for me to post on my blog. And I did. And then he went through this. And he had mm -hmm. broke down the Greek because stupid me. Instead of checking the Greek for myself, because, you know, most translations, if you see most translations translating a certain way, you take it for granted. Okay, maybe, you know, this is what the Greek says. Stupid mm -hmm. me that did not realize they were inserting a word in the English that was not in the Greek. So I took it for that's why at times we got to be very diligent to go much deeper if we're apologists to go deeper into the text. Yeah, absolutely. That's good right there. Thanks to him. Because he knows Greek. He teaches Greek. He's a bona fide, mm -hmm. I would say, scholar Greek. So he broke it yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, awesome. Shout out uh, Unashamed Apologetics, man. Thank you so much. He says, thank you guys for everything you do. All praise and glory goes to God who does everything through us. We're just vessels. Now, look so, at this genius. Uh, genius, who? no, not the dative doesn't presuppose the preposition in because even the word Christ is in the dative. And they still have the preposition in, in the Greek text. And for your information, genius, even the dative can take <clears throat> the position of the accused, not accusative, of the genitive. So finish it. It's the dative in conjunction with the genitive. Numati mm -hmm. theu. Nice try, though. <laughs> Greek butcher, but go ahead. Oh, got uh, got my partner in crime up here, Seiko Woods, who was in there holding it down, man, with the glory of God. What's going on, bro? What's up, what bro? What's happened, bro? What, you got schooled again, bro? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you did you have fun, man? Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Young Don Reborn in the house. What's up, man? Welcome to the channel. Yeah, how's it going, man? <laughs> oh, good, good. My man is here. Good. Well, young, you here, man. Good job, bro. Nice All right, it. and then so we were just waiting on JP to come through. Yeah, y'all, y'all real chat. happy about this. You, you got this dude on there making mad videos, lying on my name, saying I said things about him I never said. You feel me? He ain't tell me he was gonna be here, but y'all on this slick. Hey, now let me that's that's cool, listen. I, I know nothing about that's that. Cool. No, no, this is, that's this cool, is this see, is, see you. You know, see Sam when Sam called me and he wanted to set up a debate. Sam, what did I tell you? What did you tell me? 
I'm asking you. What I did I tell you? Here. No. you? You were ready to make a thousand videos lying on my to the name, point, buddy? saying I said stop. things yeah, I I'm didn't say. Sure. No, no, we're not doing this, bro. Because you, you no, really doing this. This is about the truth. Really about your ego on the internet, bro. So, so let's, so let's, let's do, let's, let's, let's do this, guys. Hold on, real quick. Because let's, let's clear the air together. I want to smoke. We ain't clearing no air. Listen. Yeah, we, we, we got to. No, no, we gotta, we gotta bring glory to Christ. See, because this man was blowing up my phone, I had to block him. It's weird. Hold on, but hold on, I hold on, guys, dude, guys, dude, fellas, you, fellas, fellas. You, you a nasty dude, bro. But what did I tell you? Because you real what? tough on internet. Don, Don, hold on a second, bro. Hold on a second. Hold on. Look, look, look. We are here to bring glory to Amen. Christ. This right here does Yo, not. No, no, no. That's why y'all ain't telling me that Sam was gonna be here. But since y'all, Sam, Sam, because you right, you made, you made. Almost 20 hours of content lying on yeah, my name. Destroying, and I said destroying your lies and blasphemies. Saying that you were telling people I said things I ain't say, lying on my name. So now that we here, you when me, you called me on the phone, what did I say to you? What did you say to me? Okay, so now you can't. Well, no, I said, Sam, listen, let's, listen, I said, can Sam, we get to the argument? Us, stop manifesting. Sam, let us set up a debate. Did I not say that? No, you didn't. Okay, so now you're a liar. Okay, here, I got the text messages. Okay, show me where. When you call me on the phone. No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Now, you're, now you are a son of the devil. You are no, asking me. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Listen, Avery, I this was going to debate the truth. No, no, no. Just watch out. Oh, like when I was in the middle of a stream, right, and you called me wanting to debate me on the spot, what did I tell you? What did you tell me? I told you let us set up a debate. Did no, I not? No, no, that's not. No, no, you didn't do that. Even on the live, you caught yourself. You muted our conversation while you're what like. Mean, I you caught myself. What did? Why did you I mute yourself to, when I was on the phone? I was trying to extend you the courtesy of pride. Why did you mute me when we were live? I Why knew, did you mute the conversation, any, coward? Whenever anybody, yeah, 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 anytime anyone calls me on stream, and did you not say in your stream it. that you wanted someone? That you yeah, thought we was can very well no, no, no. in the we Trinity. Can, no, no. We can pull up. We can pull up the actual clip since you want to do okay, this right bring now. Bring the clip Let's and show the part that you muted me. Clip. Let's pull bring up it up. The clip because you went around crying. Bring it up. I lied up a bunch about a bunch of stuff. Bring it up, dude. I'm Stop walking the time. It's yeah, not about I'm, your I'm, ego. I'm, that got yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, dude. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Refute the arguments. Come on, we're here. What is the argument that you're making? You're a liar. That is bring up the arguments, dude. What is the argument? The, ar the argument is what you're a liar. Are, the, are very arguments that I smashed. Bring it, use it against me. Here I am. In the come on. No, no, no. I'm addressing the, See, I have no problem with you having a disagreement with me on the, the Trinity. Objection. I'm saying you are a nasty bring person. Up, not a liar. Nasty, but, but, this, but, but hold on. Hold on. Guys, 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 guys. All kinds of nonsense. <laughs> But it, but listen, hold on, an hold on, 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 hold on. You're an angry, small if, person. If, if, if we're, if we're talking, place, but, but listen, Ooh, like, this, this, this is tough because we're trying to have a discussion on yeah. the Bible, on the, on whether the deity of Christ and stuff like this, this doesn't help by, by bringing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? This let's, let's get into yeah, the conversation. Well, if you wanted this to go differently, we should have spoke off stream because this man ran around slandering me for weeks. Dude, stop Make with saying, the building, a building, yeah, building up an right. argument, building up an argument. Based Where's Kingdom in context? What's going on, everybody? So, so <laughs> what's up, Bryce? So, if we're here right now, man, if we're That's here right cool. now to talk about the scripture, not about personal insults or the, the slander and nothing like that, because I understand what you're no, saying. I'm not gonna you, have a conversation you with someone. You need to apologize but, before I have a conversation with this 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 man, because you went around lying to. Because you for clout, I thought you're supposed to be wow. a man of God. You going around are you, are you lying manifesting, or can we get to the debate now? To the Here, let's pull up the clip since we want to make this a topic. Let's pull up the clip of what I said about you bring in context of debating somebody else. Can you bring the clip and we get to the Stop wasting time. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> you're real tough on the internet. <laughs> That's who you yeah. are, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm the one I can tell about on the internet. You this, this, on this don't bring no type of glory to Christ, man. That's all I'm saying, man. That's what let's now get to the argument. This. We're gonna handle this because I'm gonna show I'm you that you're a liar. Avery, can we can this guy yeah. debate his points that he brought no, us? That, that's that's what that's what I'm saying, Don. Is you, should that none invite, of this, you should not have invited this man. You had no you, you, you could not, you didn't even get none of you. Ain't what about, about what? This person I don't know nothing. I know nothing about I knew nothing about who's gonna be here. Yeah, so hold on. Let me let me just say this. I knew I knew nothing about who was gonna be on the afterlife, bro. I knew nothing about that. So whoever's here. 
this, it's new to my it's new to my understanding. So I knew nothing about yeah, maybe, him being here or whoever else been here. Yeah, maybe this is this is this is a this is an open discussion. There is no uh you know this person can't come or this person can't come like uh, and when it's the official debate, of course. The official <clears> debate, we had our we had our people that we agreed on that could come or whatever. But this is an open, it's an open stream with the open dialogue where we talk about the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about who we don't like or whatever. Um, we, we just got to talk about the scriptures respectfully to each other. Let's you know what I'm saying? Too. So I, I would love for us to you actually- You brought on this dude, you know, you brought on this dude. Every this night, and when I came on, you and, and, you and Eduardo was all like, cheap and all smiling. So, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Right, it's it's good. Really I don't. I don't understand where the non-cool yeah, stuff comes from. Look, but okay, here we gonna we gonna address this because this man Sam. You see, it's one thing you want to say that theologically. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, you have no. every right. You have every right to do that as your opinion. But when you go around lying on my name for the sake and of, and you get to the clip for up. the love of your fake God, stop. <laughs> get to your clip so we can get into your objection. See if you can defend your false God. See, I didn't have I didn't know you were gonna be here. So let me uh give me a second to skip through it and find when you call me. Yeah. Yo, the kingdom in context, and I get the link or something. I don't know. Yo, kingdom in context, wherever you are, man. I'm sent I sent you that link. I don't want people to think that I ambushed or set up Don. Kingdom and context was supposed to be here. All right, hey, he's saying you y'all not letting him into the after show. So I, I that's impossible. He's not here. He's not in the back chat. All right. Well, let me call him. Yeah. Kingdom, I sent you the link directly. Unless I could idiot, I sent him my old link. Impossible. Yeah, hey, I'm an idiot like that. I so, would do something like that. Give me a sec. So, Avery, what as he's trying to find that clip to save face, what arguments did he bring up so we can address them? Well, well, uh, Don didn't really bring up too many arguments. He it was it was more so Bryson and uh and Sean that brought up most of the arguments. Yeah, uh, sure. Don, Don mostly responded, but all right, I'm a I'm a Don, should I email you the link because they saying that they sent I emailed it to him. Did. I emailed it. T text it text it straight to him. If you guys have the link, just text it straight to his phone. For those of y'all watching, this was not a setup. All right, hold on. Let me. Um... Yeah, we know that no, nobody does anything weird. Like nobody's weird out here. No, I'm like, just we, we here talking. We here talking about the scriptures, man. Uh... That's, that's it. Don, I emailed it to him, dog. So as he's trying. To oh, here he is. He's here. All right, there we go. What what argument you want to deal with, Aver? Is he trying to? Um, uh, let, let's go ahead and deal with uh, Jesus being the Son of God, okay. begotten, right? And so, therefore, what happened to Don? So, therefore, he must. So therefore, he's. Uh, therefore, um, he is. He has a. He has a beginning mm. because he comes forth from the Father, mm. right? So that is his beginning. Him coming forth from okay. the Father. What and passage in particular? Uh, there was. John 16, you're muted, Don. Oh, yeah. You're, it was John 16, uh, where he says, I came from the Father and and and, and I have come into, into the, the world. world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh -huh. when it says came forth from the Father, came forth where? You mean prior to creation or came forth from the Father in heaven to enter the world? The, 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 the I came forth part is the, the understanding is that, that that's before the foundation of the world. That's not what um, the text says. In John 16, right. 27, 28, that's not the contextual reading. So... What argument did they bring up so we can discuss? In fact, I'm glad Sean is here. Give me some passages, Sean, about the beginning part. If that was your argument. Hey there. Hello, Hogan. How are hey. you doing? I'm Sean. I know. I saw you debate. What, so you what was my argument? I guess you're the one who brought up the beginning part. Was that not you? No, no that, was, that wasn't oh. him. That wasn't him. That was, okay, sorry. That yes, was sorry. Uh, Bryson Gray and... Young Don said that because Jesus is the son. All right, guys. Um, he has the yeah. beginning. And he quoted John 16. as All right. So let me go ahead and, and find this clip. Yeah. Because I, I'd it, much rather address this than address this uh, this yeah, bozo yeah. Sam, honestly. Okay. Now, Sean, 
as he's trying to it. avoid the topic, maybe I can discuss it. Because you, you, you know, he up. he had a field day lying on my name. Yeah, lying. Yeah. So we going we going we going to expose this man. Sean, now as this guy trying to save face and avoid, we going to expose topic, this man live. Can you hear me, Sean? Because he's talking over me. Because I know he's scared. But I just need to find a clip where he Sean, actually called me. me. Yeah, uh, Don, if you could just mute yourself for five yeah, seconds. It was a long stream, guys. So forgive yeah, me. Very long. Yeah. I'm trying to hear if he hears us. I don't know if can Sean. Can hear I think me. he's Sean, right here. Don, can you hear us? Yeah, he's hey. talking in the other stream. Just no. mute Don and Don. Just wave us. Uh, when if you any of y'all can like there's look right. for. There we go. Sean, are you there, buddy? Yeah, I can hear everybody. Yeah, I want to talk to you because uh, this guy is trying to avoid the topic and thinking that. I slander. We're going to see the truth in a minute. In your debate with Matt Slick, when you read John Genesis 1 26, you said that when God said, let us make man in our image, that convinced you or that leads you to assume God is a male, right? And then he has male genitals. Yeah, God has a body. Yeah, but you said it's male, right? And he's a male body. Yeah, he's not a woman. Okay, can you read 26 for me? Because the pa passage says that Adam that he let's made. Let's make man and, man and woman in our image. I get it. Mankind. So, yeah, but the, but the prophets describe the Father, the Almighty Yahweh, having a body. Now, before you body. get to the, the prophets, because the prophets also use feminine language of Yahweh, giving birth like a woman. We can get to that. Deuteronomy 32. What's your question, brother? The question, if you let me finish, not talk over me, like you tried to do with Matt Slick, that says that male and female are in his image. So does God have female parts? Uh, that's literally why I just said the rest of Scripture defines a male body for the Father, the Almighty. Did you literally hear my response that the same Scriptures also describe God as being pregnant and in giving birth as a woman? Deuteronomy 32, 15 uh, to 18. Okay. Open up Deuteronomy 32, 15, 18. Sam, is that your real name or is it Halal? Sam, yeah. Okay. The Sam is fine? All right. Um, there's lots of, he also is, is anthropomorphized to have uh, wings and to be held under the shadow of his wings. So we get it that there's different language spoken of the Father. That's but, not when I, but, when the, but when the prophet, I'm explaining the, the anthropomorphic details that you're asking about versus the actual literal descriptions of the Father. What body. basis do you assume that's anthropomorphic and that this is literal? The context. Because in okay, a vision, well, when Daniel sees context, someone sitting on a throne, that person sitting on the throne doesn't have a pregnant context, belly or wings. Genesis 1. It literally says male and female are in God's image. And you ran just, from the context just, of other passages. No, I'm not running. I just explained to it, but you're just going to try to Explain to me, it. is the female in the image of God, yes or no? I just don't understand how you guys think this guy's productive. For okay, can you answer the question, stop the ad hominem? Is the female in the image of God, yes or no? Read Genesis 1. I already, I already, told, I already answered your question. You can keep asking, I guess. No, you didn't answer it. it. Is the female in the image of God? I already answered your question. No, you didn't. Mankind, mankind. Genesis two goes on to to specifically detail man versus woman, and then follows and up. Genesis, Genesis five goes details. back to show male and female are both in his image. So mankind is, is made in his image, but we get that include the woman? descriptions of the father's body later Does from other prophets. That includes the woman. Mankind is male and female. So that includes the female. So now let's go back yes. to your reading of that text. Does God have female body You're, parts? This is just wordplay, bro. I've answered your question. This is a, this is agnostic. Does God have female body parts, dude? He has male body parts. I've already answered your question. But the female is his You just image. got an answer. Why don't you move on to no, a different you question? No, you think you're answering, but you didn't. So let's try it again. If the female JP, is, is this what you really want to go to? Oh, this is God Logic's channel, isn't it? He's just going to let me run. So never mind. Right. God logical, now, whatever. when you say God appears as a man, in Daniel 7, 9 to 10, he appears one way. In Revelation 4, he appears another way. Can you read Daniel 7, 9 to 10 for me, which you butchered in your discussion with, with you, Matt? Slick. Read it for you, me. You can, you can read it if you want. Okay. Logic, if I think you're, can you bring you're it up? so insistent. Yeah, can you bring it up, Avery? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Avery, I think Don is backstage. Um, he was. Uh, I, don't, I don't see him. Okay, I think he was trying to talk, but he was muted because he was on the other thing. So the moment can, it comes, can, back, can we as back. rational men here all understand when someone answers a question, the other person doesn't like the answer, we can move on. Uh, as, no, we as rational men understand when someone that. answers an actual question, man, instead of evading, bro. That logic, you're so biased, brother. You're so biased. No, I'm not because you do that with me. Yeah, you did that with me in the other stream. It's unethical, my bro. Is you're biased. <laughs> oh, but you see, you you don't like my answer. That's what it is. Huh? I watched I watched an entire two hours where you let Sam mock people, but then Ooh. tried to shut Bryson up when he tried to get, return that energy. Uh, okay. Can you stop what the ad hominems doing and get to the point? Stop being scared. Because now you sound like no a scared one's scared of you, brother. Okay, hey, brother. Then let's go to Daniel 7. Hey, hey, hey. yeah, right, you should try, 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 try to calm yourself down. 
So no, I'm going to calm you down Daniel, in a minute. Daniel down, 7. Calm He's down. doing this on purpose. He's Daniel doing, seven, doing little stuff on purpose. Yeah, that's what they do. They yeah. have a reaction like narcissists, like their father, the devil. So then they play yeah. the victim. Yeah, then so you're not you're not gonna get any any type of reactions or outlashes like this. You're gonna have to deal with the text, man, and deal with the uh deal with the stuff. Oh, All right. so you guys think this is dealing with the text calling people sons of the devil? I get you. I get you. Well, no, no one's no one's calling names yet. Well, hold on, let me let me you're not listening, G God logic, if that's what you think. Acts 13. 16. Okay, well, I have the video. I, I found a clip here that you wanted me to find, Sam. Um, is there a way for me to share this this screen, JP? Yeah, press, yeah, push, 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 the push the present button, put present. Okay, so we can do that. Hopefully this squashes all of this so we can continue to with the yeah. conversation. Hopefully. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. All right, present. Sam, when you get to heaven, are you going to be able to hug the Father? Of course I will, because God can manifest in visible form. Your arguments are stupid. I'm going to butcher them now. Just be patient. Okay. So the, no, no, you I'm, do believe the, no, the no, resurrection son has a, has a body. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sean, really quick, because uh, uh, young Don put your arguments in there. did have something going on be right before, you know, so they're going to squash this really quick. Yeah. And then we'll get right back into uh, the discussion here. So, all right, it's on the screen now. Okay. Yep. All right. So this is this is the the moment in question. Let's play. Right today, I did not decide that I was going to debate. Y'all, 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 hearing this uh, video? Talk over your stuff. Let's hear it. Let's hear yeah, it. we can hear it. We can hear it. We can hear. Can you act like your age? Jeez, man. We can hear it. Yeah. We can hear it. He's his son. Don't act like you. Okay. He says it time and time again. The father says, "This is my beloved son." Oh, you're playing this heretic. Go so, ahead, language, but we've just had people tell us a different story, and just because, in my opinion, they don't understand the concept of agency that's used throughout Scripture, and that's fully caring. The night visions and came up to the ancient. Don, what are you going to talk about? Hey, hi, Don. Although I disagree. All right, this is the spot right here. Okay, go ahead. The trap is tripping your authenticity and your intentions are genuine. We shouldn't shy away from discussion. Sam Shamoon would be a great guest to have on to discuss this. And there may be come a point when I will be welcome to, you know, talk to Sam about this. Glad but today is not the day, right? Today I did not decide that I was going to debate Sam Shamoon, right? Um, like I said, we had other business to take care of that, that was left, you know, up in the air. So, yeah, you know, he can, we can talk at another point in time. But I'm just trying to be transparent, and this way, I don't get any more people coming in trying to start anything in the chat. At least when someone comes in the chat. So I'm going to skip a little bit forward, but as you can see, I clearly said, one, Sam, I was willing to have a conversation with you. Two, you know that we were in the middle of setting up a debate between you and other people. I had called you twice. You had not called me back. So we had that to finish taking care of which you you know completely just left me up in the air with right you were supposed to be debating someone on a very large platform and uh, i said right there clearly i am willing to debate sam shamoon just not today i, I was not prepared to debate you right Are you right now wait we're going to co we're going to continue we're going to continue because you went around telling people that i lied on you and said you never had a debate with any unitarian experts right See, yes, you, are, you ran around saying that I slandered you, right? You and God Logic went on stream together saying I slandered you, I lied about you. So I want I want you to point out to me where I, I slander you or lie about you. Can you play the clip when you said that I never Believe debated anyone the... bona fide on that issue? Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Play that clip. Right. Again, just as Moses was made of all creation, right? He is, a, he is not, which all power you to once and be like, well, yeah, we know that. To him lasting the many much will not and that's why he's the king of zion yeshua was born in the dichotomy there of two different entities two different beings um let's hey thank you brother marcus yeah you should be bold and trust in the holy spirit isn't that what jesus his brother said to him when uh jesus they said oh uh, what was the situation right jesus his brother said on to him the for there is no if even can you do me a favor, find it and then come back. And, and Jesus know, said, okay, on to right, them, my right, time right. is not yet come, but your time is on this topic. But you know, that time will come. Let's look uh, also in the book of Baruch, which was before Yeshua. Uh, what's called the Apocalypse of Baruch, verses one through 30. It says, And it shall come to pass after these things, sleep and hope of him shall rise forth in here. Thomas Peter and be labored. All right, so here in the first verses, Asia and Bithynia, to obey Jesus, Father of our Lord Jesus from the dead. From um, first Peter, I think, or Jesus. Same one who he says is our God and our Father. 
can you find the clip? Come back so we can continue the conversation. Oh, hold on. Sam is calling. Right. It was right before you called right. me. So I'm trying to I'm trying to find it. It's like right by the rest is a the same one who he says is our who is Jesus God first from you just had it. You, Peter, just, you just had the call. You just no, had it. It was and before, it, right? No, see, Sam calls me after, right? He calls me uh, after the fact, right? But um, all right, here I'll mute. Let me let me lock down the exact okay. clip because I'd like Sam to address it. But okay. go go ahead and mute me or whatever. Okay. So <clears throat> Can you read Daniel 7, said, 9 for our friend Sean? Daniel 7, 9 to 10. And then we're going to look at Revelation 4 as he's chewing on his food. And right, I want to know, what does God's body look like? Daniel 7, 9 to 10. Mm -hmm. Looks like mankind's. Yeah, okay. Keep saying All right. Man. Daniel 7. I do have one of this. All right. Ladies, and I want you to address the ontology, the special essence. Uh, yeah, you can later. You can wish whatever you want. You're going to explain to me his body because he has a body, according to you, like mankind. So I want to know what that body's like. Well, maybe I just treat you the same and say, hey, why don't you wish whatever you want? I'll just ignore it, you. Yeah, keep changing subject. Read Daniel 7 9 at time. All right. So it says, as I looked, thrones were placed, and the ancient of days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames. Its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and came out from above, uh, from before him. A thousand thousands served him and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. Mm -hmm. The court sat in judgment and the books were opened. So here, if you read God's description, he has white, a head full of white hair and a robe. So that's what he looks like there. Can you go to Ezekiel 1, 26 to 28 for me? He's also sitting on a throne and yeah, books we'll are open before him. We'll get there. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so this is, this is Revelation 5. He's sitting on a throne with the scroll in his hand. Oh, Revelation 4 is where he's going to go him. next. Revelation 4 is that your burial. We're going to go there next. So uh, real quick, Revelation. there's a fake uh, Seiko Woods account going around saying the Sam worships Mary. Can you ban it? That's not Seiko Woods. Yeah, uh, can you guys, moderators, can you guys ban that account, please, from the channel? Thank you. Ezekiel 1, 26, 28. All right, 26, 28. And above the expanse over their heads, there was the likeness of a, of a throne, an appearance like sapphire and seated above the likeness of, the throne, of a throne was a likeness with a human appearance. And, and upward from what had the appearance of his waist, I saw as it were gleaming metal, like the appearance of fire enclosed all around. And downward from what had the appearance of his waist, I saw as it were the appearance of fire. And there was brightness around him, like the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud on the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness all around. Such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face and I heard the voice of one speaking. Okay, so here we have the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And it's not identical in appearance to the Ancient of Days in Daniel 7 and Revelation 4. How does he look there? In Revelation 4. Mm -hmm. Revelation 4. Read the first seven verses if you want. You can read eight to see it's God appearing. All right. <clears throat> Sam, do you believe in the, the hypostatic nature of post-resurrection? You better believe it. We're going to get into that in your distortion of 1 Corinthians 15. So how can a spirit who only manifests a body share the same essence with the Son post-resurrection? Since read Revelation now, 4. Apparently... Okay, I'll get to you. Buddy, unlike you, I'm yeah. going to answer your questions. Let's go to Revelation 4. I know you want to avoid this. Okay. Revelation 4, 1, 8. After this, I look you. You're just wasting time and God logic letting you, but whatever. Okay. Then stop complaining. After this, letting me. after this, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the spirit and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne. <clears throat> 
and he who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnelian. And around the throne was a rainbow that had the appearance of an emerald. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and seated on the thrones were 24 elders, clothed in white garments with golden crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings and pearls of thunder. And before the throne were burning seven torches of fire, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne, there was, there was as it were, a sea of glass like crystal. And around the throne, yeah, on each side. Sound... Okay. Sorry, now, which... God Logic, you've got a great reading voice, bro. You should narrate books in the Bible and put them on your channel. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, which of these bodies is the actual body of God that he had before creation? Can you be more specific? Which verse are you referring to? The one he just read, the three that you're ignoring because you're too busy. He showing. read seven verses. Re which one are you referring to? You mean Daniel 7 and Ezekiel 1 and Revelation 4? Because he doesn't appear the same in those three. So which of those? You mean the descriptions the about his brightness, his glory that's shining off of his body? Which one of them is his body? They're, if it's talking about the Father sitting on a throne and the radiance of his beauty and glory shining off of him, it's all to talking about him. Okay, his which body. one is his body? Because they're not you also know that First Timothy six sixteen says he dwells in unapproachable light. No, that's not about the so Father. This is some of the descriptions. That's, that's not, not about even, the Father. Not even close body. to true. Open yeah. up first. Only Timothy a Trinitarian 6. would think that, and First actually, a Oneness Trinitarian would think that. Good. Dude, let's go to Scripture. First Timothy six thirteen to sixteen. That's your burial because it's talking about Jesus. He's the nearest antecedent to the pronoun. So let's I answered your it. question. I answered your question. First Timothy six thirteen to sixteen. You're going to ignore it. You ran again. Which, I answered which your question, and you're just going to say, I'm ducking, I ran, I'm doing whatever. It's okay, all, just, open up first Timothy Have you six. ever had a straightforward conversation with anyone? What about your renter? Can you open up First Timothy 6. Do you do this with your renter? See? The demons are manifesting with the attacks. All right, Sean. Refilling. Sean, same. God logic. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. I'll be watching in the chat. All right, buddy. First Timothy 6. Let's see if this Bible butcherer. Thanks, JP. He said it's the father. Okay, let's see if it's the father. Come on. Read it for him. All right. Today's your day, Sean. You're going to be sent packing. First Timothy 6, 13 to 16. Keep on eating your food. Enjoy, because that's all you're good at. I charge you in the presence. I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession to keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he will display at the proper time. He who is blessed, he who is the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Where does it say the Father there? Verse 13, the first six words. No, it doesn't. Verse 14, Jesus Christ is nearest antecedent. Nice try. Where does it say in the Father? I charge you in the presence of God who gives life to all things Keep and reading. of Christ Jesus who is Of his Christ testimony. Jesus. Keep reading. So Keep reading. The, the Son is in the presence of the Father. He's speaking about the presence of God the Father who is the only no, sovereign. No, it's in the presence of God because and of Christ. So now you're claiming that you're Jesus is sovereign the English in from the Father? Eyes. It's in the presence of God and of Christ that God the Father and Christ are bearing witness and will hold Timothy accountable to obey this command. Try again. Where does it say the Father? I'm asking you a very quick question. Are you trying to Where claim... Where does it say the Father? In verse 13, I already answered you. No, so we're just going to do this over and over again. This is so unproductive. Again. Let me read 14. To keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he, it goes back to our Lord Jesus Christ. Nice try. That's what Sam, does. <laughs> Sam, you you remind me of Jesse Lee Peterson. You make me want to just say, "Who hurt you?" Okay, now can you come Who back to you? the original question that I asked you? I want to ask you the question: What body did God have before creation? Because the three verses I gave you, they're not the same. The same one he still has because he doesn't change. Okay, what is it? Because you went to Daniel seven to prove made of water and spirit. Okay. It's the it's the ontology of the spirit okay. nature. It's what is that spirit. body? Because you went to Daniel seven in your discussion. I just explained it to you. Listen, listen. I just explained it to you. It's made of water and spirit. Okay, show me beside John, John three, 3 5. 5. Butcher. Yeah, I know. 
show me before beside John 3 5, which you butcher, that spirit is made of water and spirit. You don't have a lot. You have a lot of spirit, and you have waters above the no, heavens. Show me where it says spirit is made of water and spirit, because that's a that's John three five. No, John three five. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Read it. Read it for him. John three three to six. Again, a Bible butcher like say Read it for him. John three three to six. I told you this is your day for you to get schooled. Hopefully, you repent. It's too late for your father, this the is, devil. But make this is my day for someone just to talk John to me. John three three to six. Yes, read it for him. And I still want the answer, which you haven't answered yet. So we're going to try again. No matter what I say tonight, you're going to say I haven't answered. I mean, you're so disingenuous, brother. I mean, yeah, yeah. Why you're are like you're following the devil that just wants me to blindly follow your opinion. I don't follow. Right, this, is all, this is all you got. Exegesis. Well, it's more than you can handle. We, all I've got, God logic, is accusation. Why brother. do I need why more? Why do you entertain this foolishness? This. Guys, before we continue, this is ungodly foolishness. Why do you entertain this, brother? That's why I, I, you, it you know, why it you seems like he's pressing the issue on the scripture, man. That's what it looks like to me. But Don, oh, you're the, gonna uh, ignore all the you're gonna ignore Don, all the bad behavior. The, uh, hold hold mm -hmm. on, guys. Don says that he has the. Would you like me to read it, or do you want to use your narrative? Yeah, read John three three to six. Hold on, hold on, guys. Well, Rewind this Don, to see who started the attacks. These. Yeah, well, yeah. Hold on, guys. Attacks. Listen, guys, listen. Don says he finally found the, the part. Okay, of can the, he wait though? Because we're on this. Because I don't want him to run. Let, well, hold on, Don. We'll get to you, man. Uh, we'll talk. Just let me deal with this dude. Dra read for us John three three to six to show you again why you're a Bible butcher. Read it. I mean, I'll read put it on screen if he doesn't want to. He just put it on screen, didn't he? Go ahead. Yep. So this is a conversation with Nicodemus, the Pharisee, and Jesus. Verse one says, "Now there was a man, a Pharisee named Nicodemus." A ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher from God, for no one can do these things that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Here's our context. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he oh. cannot enter the kingdom of God. Oh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Okay, now do not marvel what, that I say to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. Okay, now can you show me where in verse five it says 135? Okay, can, can Four, I, are we almost there. Can I? Can on, I he, he doesn't know. He doesn't okay, know. can you show me where in verse five says all spirits? Are made of water and spirit so a spirit is made of water and spirit or is it talking about human beings being born of water and spirit show me where it says all spirits are made of water so and we're spirit. we're using context right we're not just isolating verse five what's the context who's going to who needs to be born of context water and the context is that those who inherit the kingdom of god must be born of water and spirit flesh is flesh is born of or excuse me spirit is born of spirit as verse six explains and then he elaborates to say so it comes from where everyone who is born of the spirit the can move like the wind this Who's is the, the promise everyone? of the resurrection, and I will explain to you if you stop No, it talking doesn't speak of the resurrection. That's your Yes, it does. This is why the full no, chapter doesn't. goes on in John 3.16 to talk you about eternal life. That's what you get no, at the resurrection. why don't you go to the end of John 3? So 1 Corinthians 15 explains that Jesus, whom we are like, we become like at the first resurrection, Open up at his resurrection, Jesus was made a life-giving spirit. And what was Adam? And First Jesus moves just like the description in okay. verse what eight in John Adam, chapter twenty. First Corinthians fifteen forty five. So you're this is my so question. unproductive, bro. You're not even trying to have a conversation. I because I know you're butchering of the text. Who is Adam? In First <laughs> All you got is accusations. Okay, can you open up First Corinthians fifteen forty five? So let's, let's let's be fair. Let's just to be fair to him because he yeah. let's let's let him finish like what he's saying exactly. And then address what he says. Okay, yeah, he, so one thing though, he keeps going to other chapters so, that he thinks makes his point. I, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he can he, he can run anywhere else. He's yeah, gonna have it's to called, come it's back. called cross referencing and, and exegeting ahead, scripture. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so um, if I may interrupt this, I do have the clip ready for Sam to address. <laughs> right, now. Don, you're gonna let this guy run away, Don. Why are you doing this to me? You're here, right? Can I finish with him just one more minute? Because he's butchering First Corinthians 15. Um. You know what? Yes. Finish your point, and then yeah, I would like you to you're, you're, this clip. You're, you're kosher. You're, you and me, we can squash our beef, but don't leave. I just want, I don't want this guy to run. Okay, read for me. Since you went to Jesus being a life-giving spirit, it's 1 Corinthians 15, 45. Read the entire verse for me. That's what I quoted. Yeah, that's. I just said you did. Read the entire verse. You only quoted a part of it. You didn't quote the entirety. It's only going to get worse for you if we read the rest of it. Yes, please. Bury me. Go Thank ahead. I want to make my date. Read it for me. Yes. 
Because really all this boils down to is it Can seems as if you are in the position of Nicodemus to don't understand the resurrection. Why are you guys afraid of scripture? Can you read it, buddy? What's, so, what's the verse? First Corinthians 15, 45. All right. Hey Sam, just to let you know, this isn't a, when you conversate yeah, with somebody. Buddy, can you stop about me? Can you read the passage? Are you, are you, listen, I want here's what I want you to do, Sam. Okay, I want you to I want you to pick up your right hand, and while you're doing, that, I'm gonna explain what you're doing, and then when you put it down, I'm gonna tell you okay, how long you are to put 15, it down, 25. and then if you try to rebut against me, I'm gonna tell you how stupid you are, first and that your mother's 15, a dog. 45. Dude, this is not how you talk. Hey, can you read it, Avery? Because the guy's scared of the Bible. Can you read? Yeah, it? Are, are we ready to get so, into the verse? Yeah. As of 42, it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. It's sown in dishonor. It's raised in glory. It's sown in weakness. It's raised in power. It's sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. Yes. That's a physical yeah. substance. Yeah, that's going to be your burial. Keep reading. Go to 45. Just like Jesus has a spiritual body. Can you read to 45? There's a natural body. There's also a spiritual body. Here's Paul telling you God has a spiritual body. Yeah, can you stop your commentary? Just go especially since, especially since you're a Trinitarian who thinks the Father and the Son are the same essence. Hypostatically, post-resurrection. Go to forty-five, dude, and stop pontificating, dude. Thus, it's written: the first Adam became a living being; the last Adam became a life-giving spirit. What does the word "being" mean? What's the word in Greek? Is the so this is is this where you're claiming the What's Trinitarian the word in being? Greek for being? I don't I don't know every Greek word in the New Testament. Okay. You want to tell me? This is why I said this is going to bury you because okay. the word is life, living soul. The word sure. soul suke, but no, 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 sure. Will, will you be like Jesus at the I resurrection? Mean, Okay, and I make the point. I'm going to get to Jesus in a minute if you just be patient. The word natural all throughout, it's soulish body. Soulish. It's the word from suke. According to your logic, that means those who came from Adam don't have flesh because Adam is a soul. It doesn't say he's flesh. So according to your logic, we are souls. We don't have flesh. You see what you did, Bible butcher? I never said that. You're just straw man. This yes, is, because let me, silly, okay, let me repeat your argument. Can I repeat your argument? This is silly. Can I repeat your argument? Don't be scared. I'm going to repeat your if, argument. If you if you could be honest about your your repeating my argument, then I could trust you. But and you haven't done else, that so uh, far. Enter linear to show this guy, he's a coward. He doesn't want to deal with the language. Are you truly saying that mankind right now is made, not made of flesh? Is that no, your argument? No, buddy, I'm saying you're butchering a scripture buried you because the word natural, natural body is the word soul. So if I were to butcher, that's what, what we are means, right now before the resurrection. If you want, right. if I were to butcher what it means for Jesus to be a life-giving spirit, because in your butchering, that means he's not flesh, then Adam being a living soul means he's not flesh. You see how stupid you sound? No, that's, that's, I don't even know how you're making that ridiculous okay, scenario. I'm not saying that. Open it up for him. I mean, this is just. Yeah, I know. Keep I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't know, know what you're trying to argue because I'm not, I'm not no, having made well, this I'm going to repeat it again because I know it takes about four times. Okay. Now, do you see it says Adam is. A soul, suchain, <clears throat> so zan, a living soul. Now, according to your butchering of the other phrase, Jesus being a life-giving spirit, so he doesn't have flesh, because he's spirit, not flesh, then if we apply your logic, since Adam is a living soul, that means he doesn't have flesh. You see how stupid you come off? God, logic, go back to the actual text. I want to show him yes, something. Yes, go to show right, right here. Read okay. the Greek for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show him. That he's a little bit mistaken. Very much mistaken. Very much. So thanks for bearing your uh, your exegesis. So go ahead, show me. Okay. I've never made the claim that pre-resurrection mankind is not a soul of flesh. So I don't even know I what you're talking about. I didn't say you made about. that claim. You didn't even understand the argument. Yeah, so because you're you don't make good arguments to be honest. You just you yeah, shout well, a lot. These arguments are good. Right, so this just doesn't feel like it's gonna get resolved in another. Yeah. Okay, so ahead. if we could, go ahead, Don. If, go ahead. Uh, yeah. All right. So let me present yeah. this screen. Yeah. yeah. For the future, Sam, I would just study the resurrection, brother. Yeah. Hey, for the future, try to come up with better arguments because my pathetic arguments are bearing your eisegesis. So I don't need to come up with better arguments. So go ahead. Okay. All right. So before I clear, play this clip, I want to make it clear what my problem with Sam is, right? Sam, um, you have you are entitled to your opinion, right? If you do not if you do not agree with me theologically and you want to pick apart apart my points theologically, that's fine. That's free game. This is the internet. But you went around accusing me of one lying on you, slandering you. 
right? And and you also said that I didn't ask you to set up a debate in the future, right? This is the bit. You see, you are you are slan you you are accusing me of slander, and you get ran right around slandering me. I want no. I want you to understand Where's my problem. So here is I'm about to play right here. Please play. Uh, so before I do, I want you to tell everybody what lie did I tell about you? If you play the clip, they're gonna hear it. Play the clip what you said no, about no, my. Tell me the rim. No, just for the audience. What lie did no, I tell can you? Can you play the clip what you said about my experience debating because you belittled me by accusing me of not debating any mm -hmm. top notch Unitarians? Play the clip. Let wait, them wait, hear. No, just it. articulate. Just, just articulate. Just articulate. So you're saying that I said that you never debated. Any uh, can you play the clip? No, right? can you play the I just want everybody to no, 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 play. I'm about to play. I'm about, but I want to. Uh, we need clarity on what you accused me of. Can you play it? We'll Come play. on, guys, let's, let's get through this. Man, what it is is he wants me to play it so he can re articulate his accusation to make him not seem like a liar. Are you, you going to play the clip? I'm playing it. I'm playing it. I'm playing it. Go ahead. Here, listen, you know. If Sam wants to debate, I'll do him one better. How about I get in contact with some of these experts who can articulate this position far better than I can, and he can debate them and see how that goes. I promise you, you won't be as impressed as when some 19-year-old who is Muslim, who is not sure about anything, calls Sam, and he convinces him about the Trinity. Okay, so, so okay, go ahead. What Keep did playing. I just do? Don't stop. Keep playing. <laughs> and that's no offense to Sam, but it is what it is. I mean, even before, and we're, we're looking at here, he's called the Sun okay. Man. He's, um, so, he's and now, when are you going to apologize to me because you were attacking me there? <laughs> no, 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 no. One, how did I attack you? Let's go there. Okay, play it again. Let him hear it again. I'll let the audience okay. hear it again. You obviously need to hear it again. No, play it again. I want Okay, them so and that's Sam, and he convinces him about the Trinity. Or about... For 19, see how that goes. Articulate this. How about I get in? But, you know, if Sam wants to debate, I'll do him one better. How about I get in contact with some of these experts who can articulate this position far better than I can, and he can debate them and see how that goes. I promise you, you won't be as impressed as when some 19-year-old who's Muslim, who is not sure about anything, calls Sam, and he convinces him about the Trinity. Okay, now, so that's, that's no offense to Sam, but it is. What is the apology I need to? What am I apologizing for? You're not, you didn't hear how condescending and what did, how <laughs> I promise. What did I say? What was, what, what was the lie? What was the lie that I say? What was the lie I said? Are you the prof? Are you a prophet that you can promise them that I won't be as impressive as I'm dealing with a 19 year old? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the lie you that I said? Sam? You said I'm a liar. What lie did I tell Sam? You just lied about me. <clears throat> that if I sound impressive with 19-year-old Muslims, I won't sound as impressive with someone who knows their stuff. Have you watched my debates with those Unitarian apologists that supposedly know their stuff? Yes, and also, Name them. that's my opinion. Okay, well, my opinion is, okay. here you are, slandering me and making fun of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> how is that? How is that? If okay, I'm now that we got this out of the way, can we come to the topic? Gotta, no, 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 listen, right? Hey, see, I want everybody to see this man, this man, oh, like this man who runs there. around okay. condescending people with everything that comes out of his mouth is crying yeah. because I held an opinion. I'm the one crying, even though because I'm I held an No, no, because you Are lied. You now? Slander. I can back so, you up. Because I held an opinion that if Sam was to and debate. It was an uneducated, an uninformed expert. opinion. No, no, it's my opinion. And it is a hey, fact. What do you want to do, brother? Are, are you saying, are you, so, are you so, saying so, that? As well, no, 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 no. I, I just uh, want to make sure we can get this squashed. That's all I no, want to no, no. So, so, so I just to show how much of a coward and a, a, a little boy so saying. Oh, yeah. so okay, so like a coward. Oh, no. run like a girl. And and he's up to the fact that he ran around lying. You see, lying about me, right? I did not tell a lie. I am entitled what do you to want say, to do? This is like, Sam, this, this if is you debate uh, an expert so, in, in Unitarianism, that, that will be more, less impressive than you debating some 19-year-old who doesn't know anything theological. What do you want to do, uh, Avery, to so, so, so now that we got this out the way, so, we got yeah. it out the way? No, no, no. See, this man ain't man enough to apologize, so I don't want nothing to do apologize with it. Apologize for what? You're actually proven and vindicated. He's a slanderer, you know what I'm saying? Um And... You know, now, do you want to defend your godhead? Maybe, maybe, you, can maybe, help uh, you know, but but Don, but Don, you said that you guys can uh 
So he just left. He just dropped out. <laughs> yeah, man, it's getting rough. Sam makes it rough. I'll give it five more minutes myself. If Sam yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it me yeah, right. Now explain the word natural in First Corinthians fifteen. What does it mean? Go ahead. The whole context is is and it's comparing and contrasting the earthy man and the spiritual man. Yeah. The earthy body, the spiritual body. This is why verse forty four says so. The by natural the way, body, the spiritual an body. Aaron, by the way, I'm sorry, I mean, get Greg Stafford to debate me. I've called him out. I'll murder him and your fake God. But go ahead. Sorry, there's another guy barking in the comments. I don't know Greg Stafford, bro. Not you, man. No, you're, you're talking to somebody else. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Sean. I, I did. Verse 44, man. That's the best okay, comparison. So two two the, ontologies. Okay. The natural, the spiritual. The word natural is the word soulish. It's the word suke. We so already went over this. body's not fleshly? I never made that claim. What are you talking about, dude? I'm asking you, stop avoiding my question. A soulish body, is it fleshly or not? Our souls were given fleshly bodies in this mortal life. So on what basis do you assume a spiritual body means it's not a body of flesh just because it's spiritual? So you still don't I, get it. I, I never, I don't even understand you, okay. your claims. I so never said that. I'm the one, body, stop talking, to... I'll answer you. I'm the one well, actually you know, making the claim that flesh? the Father has an actual heavenly body made of spirit, just like the two juxtapos Where does it juxtaposed say it was made of spirit? ontologies. John 424. John 424. No, it doesn't say that he has a body made of spirit. Read it, John 4, 24. You butchered that in front of me. This too. is exactly why I asked you about the prophet's descriptions of God someone sitting spirit. on a throne. What can sit on a throne? Now, you see what you did. I try to keep what can you sit on a throne. It's 15. I, I'm going to answer you. Calm down. I, I yeah. tried to get you're you just, to... You're now you're, you're adding commentary to the, okay. to the interaction. I tried to get you to just stay answer with the question. 15. You ran to John 4. Show me where John just 4 Just answer said. the question, dude. You're... Where did John 4 <laughs> say he has a body of spirit? Read John 4, 24. It. I just told you that. It doesn't say that. Read it. It does that. Read it. Read it. God is spirit. I'll read it. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Read it. I'll pull it up. You Let's should be on the street corners with the BHI, bro. Say it again. Where do you want me to be? <laughs> read. <laughs> read. Where do you want me to be? We're going to go to John 4, 24. Yeah. Let's see if it says. And it life. reads. <laughs> Read. This is John 4, 24. God of spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Okay, now where does That's it right? say? Okay, where did it say that God. <laughs> here, Shalom, brother. I don't know. Shalom. We talked about this. We're all this. Okay, God of spirit. Now, Yahushua, Yishi. Now, Avery, can you show me where it says God of spirit, meaning he has a body made of spirit? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't mention a body of spirits specifically. And yet. Sean, do you know? Right. You know what it talks about is? the ontological nature of the Father. God is spirit. And where does it say it is a spiritual body? I just we just were in First Corinthians fifteen, which juxtaposes. Oh, so you want to go back to there again? Ontologies and all of okay, Scripture. Let's go back to the are earthy we going to say and the spirit. The earthy and the spirit. Okay, I'm answering your now, question, but you're just we, talking. No, you're not. You're pontificating and showboating. Okay, so I've, I, I, I announced earlier like, God logic. I was going to give about five more minutes. I just, I'm just not getting a productive conversation with. So, so, so his point is that according to First Corinthians 15, it talks about the different types of bodies, even the mm -hmm. heavenly bodies, and so this correlates with God, who has a spiritual body. That's his point. No. Go ahead, Sam. Okay, now let me destroy that argument. In that context, it says nothing about God having a spiritual body. It talks about Jesus being the last Adam. That's First Corinthians 15:45. Not a word about God the Father. That's the first butchery. Secondly, which you didn't get, so I'm going to simplify it. The word natural body is the word soul. It's a soulish body. But you and I both agree that though we have soulish bodies, it's still a body of flesh. So for the life of me, I'm trying to get you to answer, because you ran to John 4, why does a spiritual body my answer. imply? Why does a spiritual body imply that it's not the fleshly body made immortal? Where did you get that from? From the two ontologies being juxtaposed in First Corinthians 15, 42 through 47. And where does the juxtaposition imply that a spiritual body is not fleshly, but now made immortal? When if you read it, it's what's planted that comes out. Well, actually, uh, some translations actually will will say the comparing the glory of the different flesh. That's what it talks about in the previous Do verses from 45. Fleshly? I still want to no, know. no, I'm saying you're you're using flesh to only associate it with a human mortal soul put in a body made of dirt. And I'm trying to tell you that Jesus directly tells us at the resurrection, we must. The only way we get into the kingdom is with a body born of water and spirit. Jesus no, was birthed said, at his resurrection. He was remade into a that's body, a glorified says. body of spirit. All the angels are made of spirits. God himself, the father is made of spirit, just like Jesus. Okay, tells so us. Now, does Jesus spiritual body? Is it flesh? 
It's a different type of flesh. This is what is First flesh? Corinthians 15, it's a different type than human flesh. So First John Corinthians 20, 15 tells you this. And John 20, 24, 29, he touches what's in his body? What were those holes? Yeah. Flesh and bone is the new glorified body he had. Why he decided to keep the scars, I don't know. In Luke 24, why he can mask his face to not be recognized for like an entire six hours having a conversation on the walk back from so the that's too easy to I don't know. I don't know how he does that. Okay. This is the glorified body. So, so the point is, flesh, though. in a glorified body, the flesh and bone in a spiritual body is what's qualified to inherit the kingdom of God, but not flesh and blood. The blood is associated with the dirt body of the earth. Okay, so so for me to understand, you do believe it's a flesh body then? It's a glorified spiritual body, and it's a type of flesh, as First Corinthians 15. A type of flesh. About. So it's right. type of flesh, meaning it's flesh then? Hey, bro, I've answered you how many different ways. No, you, you haven't, because you keep yeah, qualifying it so you don't answer. This is, this is now, bro, you, you guys would go so much further in your arguments if you could just be common sense and just say, yeah, he tried to answer, you just don't like his answer and move on. Can you go show me where God the Father has a body of flesh, glorified flesh? It, it's called the spirit. It's called a spiritual nature. It's the ontological yeah. contrast between an earthy and a heavenly body. God logic, would you have to pull yes. first? In fact, back here, up again? bury him with Luke 24, 39, where it says, a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see me have. Yeah, I get it, bro. That's your un unclean spirits Luke do not have. It didn't say bodies. unclean spirits. You just yes, added. This is why they were startled and they thought they saw a spirit, a ghost. And he said, a spirit does not have, he didn't qualify it like you did. So if a spirit does not have flesh and bones, that's your burial. Show me where God's body is flesh. I, it's right here. There's different types of bodies. There's a natural body, and then in verse 44, it's a natural body. There's a spiritual body. So and it's talking about bodies. what? Again. There's there's a natural body. There's a spiritual body. There's a solid body, right? Go back up to verse 39, if you would, please. Start at 33, if you want, and read so it all the way to says, verse, verse 39 says, For not all flesh is the same. There is one kind for humans, another for animals, another Keep for reading. birds, and another for fish. And there are heavenly bodies. And Thank you. Bodies. It didn't use the word flesh, right? Okay, so you're nitpicking because no, you're, I'm just, not. you're, Hold on. you're what, nitpicking. Nitpick? Yes, you are. Because the whole context of this whole passage here is the resurrection. So son has the whole a body of flesh? Is about the resurrection. Son has a you, body of flesh? You literally quoted from Luke 24. It says flesh and bone. The the spirits don't have a body of flesh body and bone as you see I have. Does All sun right, this, and moon in this have five minute counter, God lock, I told you it's running out, bro. This Does is, sun this guy's and moon not, have bodies of flesh? No, right. I would rather talk to some men that can actually talk okay, a little bit. Does back the and sun forth. and moon have bodies of flesh? You didn't answer the question because you just see Paul deliberately changed the uses from sarx to soma. He didn't use the word sarx when it came to sun and moon. Does sun okay, and moon bro. have bodies of flesh? I didn't say that. It, I didn't. I said very clearly. The, I'm asking I'm putting, the answer. Just in the same way. Hey, this will be my last statement to you, okay, man? Because I yeah, make an excuse. You just, you just does the just sun not, and moon have bodies of flesh? Sarx. <laughs> Hello, you're just not being cool, man. You're just not being. I don't actually care about talk. being cool, dude. I'm not here to. I know you don't. This yeah, is why. This I'm is why people have been asking me to debate you for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Question, please. And I'm just like, bro, I have no interest in talking to this dude. Okay. This dude's just. Bye bye. Bye bye. Just wants to talk. Go eat your food. Bye bye. So, bye bye. Here's what I would love to say to you. Just as you claim the Trinity is not directly spoken in Scripture, so you have to put together concepts from Scripture. Okay. I'm telling you, we anyway, are directly to told the objection. ontological okay, nature of the Spirit of God in Scripture. It's Spirit. Yeah. What objections the do you have? That we can tell have? us there's a Father Avery, sitting on the You're throne. On He's called Avery. the Ancient of Days. We're calling Avery. Omer and Avery. God logic. Hey, we'll I, I appreciate you, bro. Right, 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 Maybe right, in the right, future right, we can right. have a more productive conversation. Right. Okay, bro. We'll see you next time. So this is it. Yeah. Yes, sir. So hey, bro, what you want me to do, man? See, that's why they don't like me and they want to make it personal, bro. Yeah. What you uh, on the phone for when I'm um, schooling these punks? What you doing, man? I'm actually just listening and, uh, you know, paying so attention. So what do you want to do, bro? You want to end it? Because there was not, nothing to say. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that uh, enough was on display here. I mean, <laughs> it's, I it's, it's, it's good. It's good when um, when stuff is pressed, when stuff is pressed, and then and direct questions when examining a certain position. Direct questions are asked and they can't be answered, man. No, and then can't. you're 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 accused of, oh, you're not being cool, man. And uh, you know what's amazing, Avery? Uh, the good thing is, it's now recorded because we're gonna have these effeminate sissies who think they're Christian attacking me for being rude. Mm. Now we have it recorded. Who came in attacking us personally? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't you. Uh, it was Sean started and then Don yeah. started, right? Mm -hmm. So they so started started off with. 
when I treat these spiritual dogs and swine the way they deserve, Matthew 7, 6, you Christians, don't get upset at me. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing what scripture says to do to sons of the devil. And by the way, why do I call him a son of the devil? Because Paul called a false teacher like him a son of the devil. Can you read that? Acts 13, 6 to 12, so we can go out with a bang. Yeah. And you be the good cop to my bad cop. Now, because of that, you hype me up. Now I'm going to hit the waist, bro. Now I'm like my general. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Acts, uh, what was it? <laughs> and by the way, you got some dogs uh, barking in your comment section. Hey, John Howe. Be job. more man than your mom. Come and put me in my place so I can bury you in your fake God and destroy your butchering of scripture, you cowards. None of you are men. That's why you're barking in the comment section like sons of the devil, you cowards. That's why I don't Seth. respect you. Acts 13, 6 to 12. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's and then you. right right when you show this, I want you to say what his what was sean's position was yes. about the body and then your your yes. uh decimation of that i don't even think he knows because he still he says that the the spiritual body is still a type of flesh a type of flesh so he's admitting it's some kind mm. of flesh wow but it's not this flesh you heard it right yeah so like he was trying that and that's why he was saying because the father sits on the throne and yeah, he has no, these stupid, physical dude. stupid yeah stupid uh -huh. Because okay. no Christian denies that God, who is immaterial, can assume a shape, right. appear in a form, and manifest the throne that he's sitting on. Right, right. But this right. guy, because he's hyper literal, he thinks that if God sits on a throne and if he had not ran, I would have told him so. If God has a body before creation, that means God must occupy time and space and place, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Yeah, of course. Because it's, 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 the same, it's the same. It's the same argument we could pose to Salafi Muslims. Exactly. <laughs> if God has a body, that body has a shape, it needs place and space. That means this blasphemer doesn't think God created all space, all shape, because there is space and shape, space and shape that God occupies eternally, and he has no control over it. He didn't create it because it contains him. He doesn't contain it because his body needs a place, right? Exactly. You see how stupid these guys are and they think they're honoring the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. But now read it's Acts 13, 6. All right, so Acts chapter 13, starting in verse 6, when they had, is it on the screen? Uh, let me no, see. On, I'm let me watching you on YouTube. No, it's not. Right. Now it is. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. When they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they came upon a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He, he was with the proconsul the proconsul, Sergius Paulus, a man of intelligence who summoned Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the magician, for that, for that is the meaning of his name, opposed them, seeking to, to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked into- Wait, wait, he's filled with the Holy Spirit? Filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is filling him? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what the Holy Spirit like has him say. And said, you son of the devil. Wow. You enemy of all righteousness. Paul, I don't see Jesus in you, Paul. No. Wait, 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 Paul. You're not being Christ-like. You're not being gentle. Hear him out. Mm -hmm. Hear him out, Paul. Elimas, bar Jesus. <laughs> Hear him out. Let him quote scripture. Come on, Paul. That's not being Christ-like. I don't see Jesus in you. You see, you effeminate sissies, you disgust me because you think you're being Christ-like? Finish it, brother. Full of deceit and villainy. Behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you will be blind and unable to see the sun for a time. Immediately, mist and darkness fell upon him, and he went about seeking people to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul believed when he saw what had occurred, for he was astonished at the teaching of the Lord. Wait, so Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit filled Paul to be bold and call this guy a son of the devil. Yep. Full of deceit and villainy. An enemy of righteousness. And deceased people. Mm -hmm. And cursed them with blindness. Yep. I don't see Jesus in Paul. What about you? Oh, I, I, I see that Jesus. I see Jesus and the Holy Spirit. In, in oh, okay. Paul. So I'm wrong because these Christians keep condemning me. You're not being Christ-like. You, you, you're angry. You got anger issues because your wife dumped you and you're just the, a frustrated old man. Right. And, you know, and uh, well, I don't see the love of Jesus. You, you're just. 
Okay, so this is what I think about you guys' opinion. You sissies, I'd rather follow Paul's example, put these Bible butchers and blasphemers in their place, than appease you, because I don't give a damn about your opinions, as long as Jesus is pleased with me. Amen. That's Paul. Yeah. Paul, if he was here, he would be cussing out with holy language, what I mean cussing out, these Bible butchers, these tools of the devil. He would not respect them and share a platform, but you sissies think you're more spiritual than Paul. You can keep your religion to yourself. I'll follow Jesus and his apostles and prophets. So right. love you, brother. Is that it? Wait, 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 hold on. No, hold on. Because I mean, a, a lot has gone on. A lot has been said, man. Uh, so, so was everyone clear? I just want to make sure everyone was clear on the position that we were attacking with, uh, with, with, um, with Sean there about God, the father really having uh, a, 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 an ontological physical type of spiritual body. He's saying it's spiritually physical. Uh, actual physical body that occupies space um, and, and all of these things and how detrimental and heretical that is and unbiblical. And as, and as soon as he was pressed, he can't really answer the the questions, man. Not with scripture. He he adds to the scripture saying it says that God has a spiritual body. We asked him to show us to quote. We went to the quote. It didn't say that. It just yep. says God is spirit. It didn't say anything that he said. So. And then what's amazing in Luke 24, 39, where it says spirit does not have flesh and bones. Oh, it means uh, unclean spirits. But you see how stupid it is. You know why? Because even an unclean spirit is still a spirit, right? Mm. And if it's a spirit, it's still made of water and spirit, right? Of course. Yeah, it should be. And it still has a body, right? Mm -hmm. What does the spirit being unclean have to do with it? If you're a spirit, you have a body. You see how stupid the guy is? Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't hold up. You know, did you did you get any chance to watch any of the discussion? No, man. I was on a live stream when you were doing that. Oh, wow. Yeah, thanks for the support. Um, well, all right. Well, well, I was scheduled. I didn't know, you know. But yo, no. yo, you, you knew. You knew. You knew. All right. to well, you still got 700 more than, than I could ever get because they like you more than they like me. But well, my well, point is, you see, right. these guys fear me, and I'm not boasting. God destroy my pride and arrogance. May God keep me humble and teachable. I don't care. Like I said, I don't care to debate. Let me repeat. Maybe you guys think I'm lying. God knows my heart. I don't care to debate, but if I have to put these butchers and bullies and these slanders in their place, I will for the glory of Christ to protect the flock by the power of the Holy Spirit working through me. So just let you know, I don't care about these guys. They're clowns. They don't know the Bible. They're tools of the devil. But I will do it for the sake of the brethren to protect them from being deceived with their lies. And... You are more than equipped by the grace of God to deal with them because you see they don't want me around. And then they start attacking you for bringing them on. I don't want to bring unnecessary heat to you, brother. Anytime you want to do a session where we go through their arguments, you and I will do that. But you see, when I show up, the demons start manifesting through them. Yeah. And they start attacking you for bringing them on, even though you never wrote a contract saying I won't bring Sam on. Yeah. But I'm here for you, brother. And you are more than capable. I'm not just saying it. You, the this, Caesarean this guy... Chris Claus, our our rabbi friend, is he goes by Eduardo, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, because yeah, because he has the name. See, I suck when it comes to people's names. You guys are more than equipped to do it. God will fill you with the spirit to pulverize, bulldoze these clowns. But if you want me to come and just go with, through their objections one at a time, I'll do that for your benefit. Because as you can see, they can't stay on topic. And one thing is. When they go to a passage, I'll try to then bury them with that passage and they run to another one. When then I try to bury them with that passage, they run to another one. It's Bible ping pong. He went to 1 Corinthians 15. Okay, let's stay there. Oh, let's go to John 3. Okay, let's stay there. Bible ping pong. Ping, 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 ping. Because they can't do exegesis. For sure. You know what? This one, with, you, you down for this, Sam? Uh, and 100 put this idea to me what? that we allow the, the folks who are barking in the chat an opportunity to come up yes. and, and, come and and tear you down. I'll stay. Yeah, you Go think ahead, that's good? Yeah, come on, All guys. Right, come sure. on and put me in my place. Stop Mark and come put me on my place. Come All on. right, so let's do this. So I'm about to drop the link. Here's the link. This is not for the Christians to come up. Unless, you, you Rob, you can come. Uh, Rob, you can come. You paid the jizzia, so you can come up. Yeah. If you're Chris Claus or any of the, you know, the normals, you guys can come up. But if you are a Unitarian, if you deny the deity of Christ, reject the Trinity, this Please. is for you. Please. Okay? Come on up. There's 700 folks in here watching. I'm pretty sure some of, uh, some of the Barkers are in here. You Here's got 700, room. you loser? Yes. Hater, Seven, bro. I can't even get 400, something. man. I suck. 
because I'm not a nice guy. Maybe if I was nice, I'd get more people. Man, I'm telling you, man, you got to move with smoothness. I keep it's telling gone. you that, but you don't listen. You don't listen. It's so, gone. you know. Smooth operator. Yeah, that's right. It's gone. Smooth operator. And also, thank you, everybody who's sending super chats and super stickers. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, Kelly, Kelly for the super sticker. And we got uh, De Leon, De Leon with the super sticker. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. But yeah, the, the stream link is at the bottom. Come on, moderators, man. you guys can help me out. The stream link is at the bottom. You guys are more than welcome to come on the stage. Smooth operator. There you go. This guy again. Oh, no. Smooth. Hey, come on. Are you like come and challenge the, the Trinity. Come and challenge the Trinity. We got Sam here. I'm here. Rob's here. Come up and challenge the Trinity. We saw you guys in the comment section. So come on up. Hit that link. I'll Rob, are you here. one of my stalkers, dude? I'm a massive, massive stalker of you, Sam. Right. I love you. I don't care what they say about you. You're okay in my book. <laughs> <laughs> we got What's any going on, Hold on. Let me read this out. <clears throat> can, I, can I buy you both a coffee? <laughs> Slava Gohu. Slava. Uh, man, what are these words? Shoot. Alvi's in here. Slava Naviki. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Oh. What's up, Chris? Amazing. Chris Christ. Yes, good. Well, I don't know awesome, language she's talking. Awesome. By the way, well, now, now I know the. Well, yeah, what language is this? Ooh, All right, we got somebody in the back. His oh, name this is dude here, man. This guy is probably the most dangerous heretic of them all. Why is he here, dude? Oh, Albie. He's not look kosher. <laughs> That's tough. You got to deal with it. Damn. Let's see. We got a question here. Can you answer the Daniel seven nine? And Revelation. Oh yeah, yeah, that's easy, Kelly. Okay. Kelly, I, I like that Kelly girl. Is what do they call them with the dreadlock? Not dreadlock. What do they call them? Braids, braids. I'm sorry, not dread. What's up, Kelly? That's why you gave me super chat so I can answer. Yeah, let me explain. This is what these heretics don't understand. Okay, guys, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. God, if He created the heavens and the earth and everything in them, that means He created space, place, and time by His very nature. If he created space, place, and time, by his very nature, that means he exists without space, place, and doesn't require time to exist, right? Right? That's so, right. Okay, so that means God is a type of existence that he doesn't have a body or a shape. Because to have a body and shape means you need space and place to occupy. That means God, by his very nature, is immaterial. Dude, can you mute your mic? Because I can hear you. Immaterial, right? And spaceless by his very nature. Now, with that said, the God who is immaterial, because he created all space, all place, all time, all shapes, can assume any shape, any form, and multiple forms and shapes simultaneously and be bound to none of them. Okay, so that's why you can find the angel of the Lord appearing as fire or the Holy Spirit appearing as a dove or the Holy Spirit appearing as seven lampstands or seven eyes on the face of the Lamb, or Jesus appearing as the Son of Man and the Ancient of Days, or appearing as a Lamb or as a Lion, because God by His nature doesn't have a body, but because He's bodily, He can assume multiple shapes and forms simultaneously. And so when God assumes a shape, He assumes that shape, number one, so that you can see Him visibly, and number two, oftentimes, what's that noise in the background? Yeah, I think it was Dylan. I muted him. Go ahead. Number two, oftentimes, oftentimes, God will assume a certain shape to tell us something about his nature. So why does he appear as the Ancient of Days with white hair or head, white wool? Because when you think of someone who's old, you think he's elderly. And when you think of an elderly person, you think of his hair being white. So God is appearing as the Ancient of Days, appearing as an elderly person to signify he's very old because God by nature is beginningless. He's ancient. That's the point. Oh, we got this guy again. Oh, this guy. Hopefully this time we're going to engage and not go on side talks. So I hope that answers your question. So just to make it clear to her, so yeah. God will appear one way in Ezekiel, another way in Daniel, another way in Revelation 4, because in those <clears throat> manifestations, he's telling you something about his nature, his characteristics. That's Just beautiful. like Jesus will appear as a lamb, Revelation 5, 6, with seven horns and seven eyes. If you guys want me to break that down, I can. And the seven eyes being the seven spirits. 
But then in Revelation 4, 5, the seven spirits appear as seven lampstands. Mm -hmm. We can break that imagery if they want, but I hope that answered. I don't know if Kelly, that answered it for you. No, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. That's good. Because uh, what you were doing was exposing, you You asked them, okay, which body is his? Which which, which actual body is is, is, his, is the body, right? That he that he appears with. So that was an excellent. Can, can I? Absolutely not. Can, can, Rob, Rob, okay, we actually right. have what right. I believe. All right. I'll take one. <laughs> We actually have what I believe uh, to be people who do not uh, affirm the Trinity. Is that correct, Azzy? Yeah. Is that, that's that right? Uh, Azzy Ohm, I believe in the, the triunity. But I, so I'm on team. But I have a different disagreement. So are we just doing Trinity disagreement tonight? Yeah, Trinity, deity of Christ uh, stuff. I just have speaking truth and love. Uh, agreements uh, and disagreements. Okay, okay so, well, yeah, I'll, I'll let all the Trinity people go. All right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, if yeah, you have okay. a question that's not related to the Trinity and it's yeah, related it's, to it's, music, yeah, we only know. we're only doing Trinity talks up here and Deity of Christ up here. If you, uh, if you, yeah, yeah. If you guys affirm the Trinity, the stream link is not for you. It's for those who do not affirm the Trinity. All right. There were people in the in the comment section. That was talking yeah, so for those people, not the not the ones who affirm the Trinity. All right, I don't know how clearly I can I can say this. Like, come on, all right, but we I do have. Him. And by the way, Avery, if they want me to explain the Lamb and the seven eyes and all, we can do that later. But we'll skip them first. Yeah, yeah, we can do that later. Okay, we, I'm, we got, I'm gonna head out. I just have a, a quick question. Um, about what? Uh, about uh, the Trinity. Okay, uh, all right, go ahead. I believe the the Trinity is sufficient, but it's insufficient to talk about the the fullness of of God. Uh, it's su sufficient for us to understand it, but it's insufficient to describe uh, God. Yeah, um, that's not a question, you, right? You're, you're pontificating. So no, no. Okay, so that was just a breakdown, some context. So what do you what do you say to that? I would say God tells me who He is, and if He tells me He's triune by nature, then that's sufficient. It's not something he does for us. It's something who he is even without creation. Because without creation, he's a triune. Are you saying he's only a triune in relation to creation? So before creation, he was in Trinity? I believe he operates in a triune matter. But I believe the without word... Without creation? Uh, I, even in creation. Even no, in without, creation. before creation. Without I'm creation? creation. Yeah. Oh, before creation. Yeah, before creation, he operated in a multi... Multi uh faceted, multi plus mu no, that he was the trinity before creation, right? Yeah, he was a trinity. I, I I don't even like using it. So, like I said, I feel like the word we use trinity is sufficient for us to understand what's oh, going you're saying on. The word, uh, you confuse me, brother. You said okay, so yeah, problem. so like yeah, I said, I the word said, is yeah, yeah, right. okay, so yeah, though the word is sufficient for us to understand, but it's okay, insufficient to, to talk about the wholeness. Of, okay. of God, because like okay, we said, no, in first you're Corinthians. confusing me again, because okay, the word ahead. Trinity in of itself is one thing, but to say that it doesn't encompass the fullness of God. Well, the Trinity is the fullness of God. Whatever makes God, God, Father, Son and Spirit happened to be that in all its fullness, even when there was no creation. So what are you asking me exactly? The word itself? Oh, OK. So then, uh, yeah. So is there any other word we can use to describe the, the fullness of God? Try to come up with something better. How would you explain in our language? There's only one infinite being, uncaused, creator of all things, but this being is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Spirit. The Spirit's not the Father. And they're in intimate relationship with one another. So what term do we come up with? If you find something I, I, don't, think, I don't think it's a term we need to come up with. I feel like the word already exists. Triunity is okay. not Trinity. Okay. Triunity is a word that we could be using, but I just we, we become brother, Trinitarians. You, yeah, but brother, do you understand? Trinity is simply... Triunity, but subsumed, it's succinct. Trinity mm -hmm. is triunity. So if you say triunity and I say trinity, we're saying the same thing. Well, yeah, we're 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 described, but it's different words, of course, right? No, because trinity is simply a succinct way of saying triunity. That's all it is. Okay, okay. So when I hear succinct, I just feel it's it's a word we use of comfortability, of understanding. But we you're comfortable use... with triunity, right? I'm very comfortable because it encompasses the oh, so it is about comfort because you're more comfortable with <laughs> triunity than trinity. I got you, homie. I've, I've, I've relinquished my uh, in order to get these muscles, I had to relinquish some comfort. 
you know, so and I, I've, I've grown into triunity because All right, well, use that because term. I want to be able to, when I speak, I want to be able to encourage my brothers who have an issue with, because a lot of these people, they just have the word, an issue with the word Trinity. Right. And then there's the have have, well. and then I'm not talking about Don and, and Bryson who have an issue with the the nature of, of, of God, you know, but I feel like if we use different words and explained it in a way where it's three and one, one and three, Trinity is is one and three. Triune is is three and one. Oh, so um, you mean Trinity, even though the word tri comes before the nitty, it's one and three, not three and one. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I believe, yeah, the, oh, the, words, the words explain, the words explain, it's like the words explain two different scenarios, but it's still talking about the same God. All right. Brother, All right. let me tell you something. Anyone who poses the Trinity doesn't care what term you use. He still rejects it, the concept. It's not so much the term. Anyone who does not accept Father is fully God, Son is fully God, Spirit's fully God, doesn't care what term you use. You can come with triunity. They'll still reject it. So it's not so much the word. They just don't like the idea. But I hope that helped, brother. Okay, but I I, I kind of agree in some aspects. No, I love you, right? We have yeah. Trinitarians waiting. I don't. Yeah, but yeah, let these love uh, you, man. let these idiots talk. But go ahead. Oh, uh, how dare you attack them, sir? No, man. <laughs> oh, oh. I don't see Jesus in you, sir. Oh, uh, but but I'm just speaking like you. I'm just you know. Oh, you know, blame me for your sin. Good job, buddy. Anyway, no, 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 no. You. Yeah. I'm you. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. That's what I was talking about, speaking truth and love. There's other Someone ways we can communicate to reach, to get our points across, but I'm going to let y'all go. Someone said the Father's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This guy was on my show. He didn't want to discuss, so hopefully he'll discuss now. I can't hear this guy. Are you speaking? Uh, can you guys hear me, or is it just me? Oh, my bad. Uh, we got... We got uh, 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 Ozzy, I was speaking, but I did, you guys didn't hear me. Ozzy, I was saying... Thank you for we gotta uh, get to the guys who are anti-trinitarian because you're you're not anti-trinitarian. So and I want to add two cents as well. <laughs> uh, you got you gotta pay another jizzier. Um, all right, all right. Of course you could jump in, man. Anyway, so we got Elroy, we got Dylan, who are who do not believe in the Trinity. Roger in the back channel, do you affirm the Trinity? I don't I, your name looks familiar. I don't remember though. Um, but yeah, if you do affirm the Trinity, I cannot let you up. Uh, but Sam, this shit, super chat was for you, man. No, you can I give. I gift it to you, brother. So, oh, thank you. I appreciate I it. Gift it to your ministry, brother. I want you guys to be supported for the glory of Christ. So go ahead. So Sam, this is Christus Bellatar. God bless you, brother. Destroy these heretics and blasphemy in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do it, glory to God. Anyway, that's yeah. I gift it to you, brother. I hope he doesn't mind. I gift it to you by the grace of God, because you. I want you. I want people like you who are on fire to be. In ministry full time by the grace of the Lord, but let's get to the objections, man. Come on, guys. Let's All right, let's go. So we got we we I've had Dylan before. So Dylan, if What's you up, can man? work work in couple, let me hear Elroy. Elroy, you're a non Trinitarian, correct? Elroy, that's from Genesis uh, sixteen thirteen. Amen, amen. Uh, I, I'm calling from South Africa. I'm watching you at uh, five o'clock. I was watching you since four o'clock. Good man. Oh, wow. uh, you got good taste. At four o'clock in the morning, and I'm. Um, uh, I'm against uh, Trinity, uh, being against oh. Trinity. When I finished to read uh, Thomas Aquinas, Thomas Aquinas, Aquinas, is, yes. Aquinas. Uh, in French, we call him Thomas d'Aquin, Saint Thomas d'Aquin. I'm from Congo, I'm a, I speak French, Saint Thomas d'Aquin, Aquinas. When I read his book that he wrote, uh, uh, the, the books, because he was te teaching about God and he spoke about Trinity, and there was a time when he said, He's not gonna write any book anymore. Why? Because he saw a vision. He had a vision that was bigger than anything. Exactly. Yeah. And he stopped. He said, "From today, I'm not gonna write any book." And exactly. he didn't. Fin he didn't finish his work. Why? Because he said the God was bigger. Amen, than brother. So what does that got to do with the Trinity? Because he's still a friend. That, than what he was trying to do. What, what I'm saying, I'm going with the Scripture in the Bible, the Book yes. of Galatians. Galatians chapter 3, verse 20. Yes, God, God is one. Said, Paul said, God is one. It's mm -hmm. the only formula in the Bible. I, sure. I'm not a Unitarian. I'm not Unitarian. I'm not Trinitarian. I what just believe in I just believe in Jesus. And I know Jesus. I, I know Jesus is God. 
Okay. It's God. It's, it's the word of God. It's the man of flesh. So, so you know, even when you, I, I tried to speak to to Sam two weeks ago, but he insulted me. Well, and it's, it's, can you stop you, making about me an insult? To get to what you. Oh, believe. Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You cannot go and insult people and calling that Very Jesus so, also yeah. insulted people. Paul insulted people. Paul, yeah, Jesus yeah. never, never insulted anybody. Sure? Luke eleven. Paul, wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! What, what a minute! You're gonna talk. You're gonna talk about you. 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 you that, 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 you can you go to your argument, here? please? We're not here for you. You cannot please. come here. You cannot come here. Go on. Eh? You. Luke eleven to fifty-two. You. You. You, you cannot go and insult. You know, there's a. There's okay, a buddy, what's your objection, dude? Can there's you get an adjective objection? I can use. I say brood of vipers, because Jesus Himself, okay. being God, can you get you know, to you the objection, that this person, please? Jesus knows that this person is a viper. And you get but when, the objection of the Trinity. When I call you Sam, that you are a viper or you are you, you are you, you are a dog. You can tell me what you want. That's an insult. Avery, you, dude, this is why you suck as a moderator. The guy is barking and he's not coming to the point. Are we gonna waste time here? Do you see him on the stage? No, that's why I love you, sir, because it's a thing. it's God. And by the way, Galatians 3:20, God is one, doesn't help his case. Galatians 3.20, God is one. The word is ease or heis. And if that means God is one person as opposed to one party, then it proves too much because can you read Galatians 3.28 where the same word ease or heis is used? Yeah, Galatians. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Hey, listen, I know you're trying to get married, but tell your future wife, stop texting you while you're moderating, dude. Damn. What was the verse, man? Galatians 3.28. Yeah, see, you smiling, man. You're about to get married. Me and Albie, we still single, ready not to mingle. <laughs> what about you, Rob? You're single, too? No. Oh, you're not? Oh, well, you lucky little, you little. Anyway, Galatians 3.28. The word one there is used. It's it's you and I, son. <laughs> hey, dude, you need to repent of those kind of feelings, sir. Galatians huh? 3.28. <laughs> so it says, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Yeah, read the entire verse, though. You just read the last part. There is okay. neither Jew nor Greek. Nor slave or free. There is no male or female. No male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Wait, so all males and females and Jews and Gentiles and free and slaves who are born of the Spirit united to Christ, it says you are one. The word is the same word in Galatians 3.20. You are Is or Heis, if you want to say it the Rasmin way, in Christ Jesus. So that means we're one person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means you're me and I'm you, but you're a better looking version of me. So I'm confused. You, you, yeah, you didn't know that? All right, so there you go. So just because it says God is one in Galatians 3.20 doesn't tell us one person, one party, one community. Just like here, it says all believers are one. Same Greek word, Is or Heis. So much for that objection. Okay, Dylan, hopefully we'll deal with some objections against the Trinity. Yeah, so Dylan will be able to have a conversation with Jack. Oh. I see you in the back. Jack, are you? Can you tell me in the private chat if you are a Trinitarian or not? Please let me know. All right, go ahead, Dylan. What's up? Welcome back. It's God. All right, Jack is not Trinitarian either. All right, All right cool. come on, guys. Let's have some serious discussions, man. Don't talk yeah, about these. You know, so people are not. Don't worry about that. Let's talk about the Trinity. Is Roger Leslie a – Roger, are you a Trinity? All right, you're not Trinitarian either. All right, you can come up as well. Who's going to ask the first question or objection? Which one? Go ahead, Dylan. Dylan's been patiently waiting. Go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, every Trinitarian is getting tossed into the lake of fire. Okay, that's Let's it? That's all you got to say? Yeah, no, we'll start out with that. Uh, wait, 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 what? Wait, what would you say? Every, he said he's projecting. He's in a burning hell. He thinks we're going to burn. Well, every, every Trinitarian is getting tossed into the lake of fire. Listen, yeah. Okay, so we'll awesome. get to the point. So, yeah, I'm just making the line really clear. Yeah, okay. Can you get to your point? But... I'm getting to oh, it. Don't no. have to interrupt me. You can be patient. No, I'm not patient. Yeah, with you to curse us. Do you, you have to have patience? Ghost, yes or no? If you do, then you should have patience. It's a fruit can of all. you get to your objection, buddy? Go ahead. Yeah, God's not a trinity. What's the objection? What is, what, yeah, what is your God objection? It's not a trinity. The almighty God Give is me the, the verses. Father. That's what the scripture says. Show a trinity throughout the scriptures. Prove it. Titus 2.13. No, the burden of proof is on you. Okay, no, you read it. Deuteronomy 6.4. He's manifesting. Dylan, you. Dylan, okay. Dylan. Calm down. Deuteronomy Dylan. 6, Dylan. Dylan. Last time, Dylan. 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 You sure you want to go to Deuteronomy 6.4? Oh, oh, Lord, 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 Dylan. Last time you were You're here. You're the one that I want. We had a great back and forth. You're the one that I want. 
Ooh, killing me, Rob. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, but God, you, 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 last time, last time you was here, we had a good back and forth. Remember? We did. Not, right. not us three. Not. But Sam. hold on, but hold on. You just you oh, yeah, came yeah. off. You came off already. Just just firing at Sam for no reason. So no. have the same. I think I there. think Sam just talks a little too much, and he's trying to avoid. Well, the ain't nobody talking much. We'll see he's that. in okay, trouble I'll at the moment. I, 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 yeah, we should stop the back and forth and just speak. Uh, you know, very clear. Yeah, so, so let's be cool. Let's have, a, let's have a good and dialogue. But Sam also has to not just jump. Okay, on one pig. Stop person. making it about me. Get to your objections. Stop being and dialogue. And Dylan was Dylan is talking. I'm gonna let him speak, and then I'll okay. Get then to sit me. back and zip it. Let him talk. No, I'm just laying it down right, because Dylan, you don't let people speak. I've been watching you guys for an hour. So, so Dylan, so Dylan, what is your objection to God? being uh three persons within his essence what is your objection to that yeah i don't think I'll, I'll tell you i don't god's not an essence god's right? the, not an essence substance, no su yeah the substance right. that makes god god that substance has, has nothing to do with the fact that he's god god is a title where does the bible say that where does the bible say you just verbatim what i just said that essence. god's not an essence okay where where does it say that that god where is not it say, essence, where does it say that god is an essence? i know you don't understand logic when you make the claim you need to prove it you made the claim prove and it you need oh. to prove that god is an essence give me the proof that prove that god said. is an essence do you know what, what essence is how do we define god how do we define what, Dylan, god? Dylan, what is, it says what is clearly god? that god is a spirit Hold on, just one second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Dylan, what, what is what is essence? What is that? Essence, the way we're yeah. defining it right now, I would I would define essence as being the substance, as, as what someone is made of or something well, okay. made of. Okay, so <laughs> does does God have substance? Yes. All right, so, so then you just so you just agreed that he is, he does have essence. That's not what no. makes him God. It's his authority, it's his power that makes what him. What does it God. say that? Where does it say authority makes him God? Give me the verse. That's what makes God the ruler. That, Give me the verse. God is. Is. God is. God, to be a God, that means you are a ruler. To be a ruler, can that you means quote you some verses for me, buddy? Can you give me some verses? I, just you common, can Sam, this is just common sense. This is just this is just okay. Being you want me to deal with Deuteronomy six four because you brought it up? Damn no, I want you to define God right now. I I don't need to because you yeah, asked me. You to can't do it. You can't do it. Okay, Deuteronomy 6 4. Are we going to have a conversation with this guy? This guy got crushed by Greg Saffer. He's getting crushed by the Bible by originate by from the Saul. common sense. Yeah. Of men. Got three, three anti Trinitarians. Okay, Deuteronomy 6 4. Let's open it up. Let's open it. I'm, I'm just waiting right now, but uh, go ahead. I asked you a clear question to find God, and you can't do that. Yes. Well, we, we asked you a clear question about, about showing whether or not God has essence in the Bible. I and listen, I, I feel as if answer. Sam, no, I feel Roger, as if Roger, don't worry about what you feel. Roger, you're next. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. There's at least two or three Trinitarians here. Roger, you're person. next. Oh, no, you're there's next. no next. What do you mean there's no next? You're on my, you're on my channel. Okay. You're I'll next. <laughs> you quoted so when we're done, you'll be able to come up. You quoted Deuteronomy 6.4. So let me walk you through Deuteronomy 6.4. Okay. It says, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. One what? The Lord our God is one. He's just he's one ruler. He's one, one what? Person. One person. No, it doesn't say person. That's what one means in that context. No, it doesn't. Echad is used in Genesis no, that's 2, what it means. No, it doesn't. Echad is used in Genesis 2.24 for two persons becoming one. So prove that Echad in reference to God means he's one person. What are you talking? What are you even saying, Sam? Repeat. <laughs> what are you saying, Sam? Right? What am I saying? Hey, buddy, can we go to the chat? He's one person, right? Israel, do, where does it do say one person? Multiple gods. They're saying he's one person. Where is the word one person there? Show it to me. That's what it means. No, it doesn't. I if just showed you know, God. Genesis 2 24. Echad is used for two persons forming a unity. So Echad doesn't in of itself mean one person. Prove that assertion. It doesn't matter if that word is used in a different context somewhere else. It doesn't now, mean what in that context is God is one person. Time. Sam, just because a word is used in Greek or Hebrew doesn't mean it's used in the same context. Okay, every what time in the context of Deuteronomy 6 4 shows one person? You made the assertion. Uh, that all throughout the New Testament, we have one God who is the Father. You sure? Only the Father? You positive? Yeah, we have one God that is who is the Father. That's what it says in all of the epistles. Paul tells us that, Peter that tells us that, James tells us that, John tells us okay. that. All the epistles. Titus 2 13. Open up Titus 2 13 for him. 
Titus 2.13. Yeah, you guys got one scripture. Okay, that, I'm going to give you more than one. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Keep laughing. See, now, yeah, if you're serious about the Bible, don't laugh at verses. Don't laugh at the verses. No, I'm laughing at your interpretation. Okay, the way well, you let's exegete it. These verses. Exegete what it means, the great God of us and Savior, the great go God. To, yeah, go to, go to KJV. That doesn't help your case. Oh, yeah, it does. Go to KJV. Are we dealing with a kid here? I mean, what are we doing? Go to KJV. Of course, okay, no, let's you. do one, one better. Go to BibleHub.com. I want him to read the Greek in person. Let's go to KJV. We're at the verse. <laughs> yeah, show him the Greek. Hey, hey, because it wasn't in English. Hey, hey, hey. Titus 2.13. He doesn't listen. Okay, now I want you to read the Greek and parse it for me, okay? Parse the Greek for me. Okay, open up the screen. So now, now read the Greek and parse it for me. Line by line. Go ahead. It's right there. Go ahead, Dylan. I'm reading it right now. Out loud so we yeah, can hear you. No, what's what's what do you think this is showing? You think this is showing that Jesus Parse is God? The Greek for me and explain to I'm me. I read the verse, Sam. Now okay, I'm you, asking. Yes, doxes to megalu theu ke sotero simon Christu Yesu. Break it down for me. Yes, Sam. What is this claiming to you? It's showing so, so, you that Paul just called Jesus our great God and Savior. So, so, so Paul has so, two gods. Wait, wait, Dylan, before you ask any other question, can you at least acknowledge that the verse here refers to Jesus as the God and Savior of us? I acknowledge that those two titles, God and Savior, are given to Jesus. I, I believe right. that's completely fine. How many great right, but, gods but, are there? But hold, on, but hold on a second. Hold on a second. You literally said... And all throughout the New Testament, nowhere is Jesus called God. And you said in all the epistles that only the Father is called God. Now yes, here, Jesus is never called the Almighty God. He's never called. Oh, wait, the but God now, God. so now you're shifting the goalposts. Well, no, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, God yeah, was, God, I'll answer that? your question. I'll answer your question. I'm not shifting the goalposts. I, I this is why we have to define yes, these yes. words. One second. One Actually, seven, can you can you also go one, to? Galatians, Galatians what? Revelation 1, if oh. Rob calms down, Revelation 1, 7 to 8. There it's contextually Jesus saying to be the yeah, in the first and the last. He can bear those. No, no, no that, that's not. Calm down, that's dude. Not, calm down, yeah, dude. Not, I know you're scared. Calm down. Seven and eight. Revelation 1, but 7 to 8. Scared of yeah, just, just, just really, a dead man walking. I'm not scared of a but dead man. Just, just to be clear. One, seven, just to be clear. I'm going to the verse. I'm going to the verse. But just to be clear, Dylan, you did just fold on yourself just now, man, when it came to the New Testament and Jesus. I did it. Okay. Now, at first, you said nowhere is he called God. Nowhere and we just is he called God, as in the Almighty, as in God. Oh, but now it's as in the Almighty. So. And even then, going. even then, when we go to the KJV, there may, there's a distinction between no, our great God even, and our Savior. But you don't want to go to the KJV. I'm going to use the King James. Be patient, dude, because the Bible wasn't written in King James; it was written in Greek. Be patient. I'm going to use the King James to show you don't even understand Elizabethan English. Be patient. No, it was written in the King James version. Right. I was reading 1611. Revelation 1, 7 to 8. The Bible was written in the King James Version. Anybody who yeah, says man, otherwise is a heretic. Yeah. yeah. Read right, over Revelation 1, 7 to 8. Can somebody read for me? I'm eating. Oh, oh yeah? All right, hold on. Okay. All right. Hey, boy. All right. Here you go. Can you see? Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. Even those who pierced him. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was, who is to come, the Almighty. So who's coming in the context? Uh, Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. You think that's proof that that Jesus is just said, God. Je, je, thank He's you for admitting titles. Do not let me finish. He said Almighty right there. That's a title. Almighty is a title that hey, he hey, has. What do you, what do you want to do? Given, to he was given all power and authority. Oh, Dylan, Dylan, you just said that yeah. he's never called the Almighty God. He's yeah. not. He's not the Father. He's not Jehovah. See, do, so now, do you see Wait, another Jehovah? another shift? So look, look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm let's go step by step. Wait, wait. He I'm said he's not Jehovah. Jehovah. Wait, wait, wait. No, he said they're not. He said he's not the father. We already proved that he's Jehovah. He we, he's not we, we proved that last time. Here, here's what's happening. No, We're wait, wait, wait. Let me, let, me, let me break it down. I'll, I'll let you talk. I promise. I'll let you flow. I'll let you cook. Yeah. But look at what just happened, dude. You said nowhere in the New Testament 
is Jesus called God. There's only one person who's called God, and that's the Father. We can replay the, ta uh, the tape. That's correct. Then we just showed you that Jesus is called God, the God of us and the Savior of us. Well, you said, well, he's not called God Almighty. He's not called God Almighty. And then we just that showed you not, that he's that called God, God Almighty. He's but not now God you're God. saying, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to let you cook. I'm going to let you cook. I promise. You said he's not called God Almighty. He's not called the Almighty. Then we just showed you where Jesus is called the Almighty. Yeah, God and now you're saying, well, he's not He's not called the Father. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, then now you're saying, we believe. Yeah, when I made these claims, you don't think I already know about Titus 2.13 or about Revelation? When but I you just admitted you that know. Titus 2.13 is about Jesus. Yeah, because God logic. I'm not given a clear definition at the very start of it. When I use these words, I understand that at certain points in the scriptures, very few instances throughout the New Testament, Jesus has these titles of God or of Almighty. That's oh, okay. still, he's okay. not. Wait, so or of Almighty? Listen, I want to repeat what Jesus, you just said. If Jesus isn't the Father, then he's not the God that Paul is referring to all throughout the scriptures or or Jesus himself. So then who is he? So wait, wait. So if he's calling, go ahead, Sam. Go ahead, yeah. man. No, okay. He just said Jesus is not Yahweh. You said that, right? Uh, he's not the Father, I said. No, then you said it. Not the Father, he's not Yahweh. You finished it. So I said he's not Jesus. Jehovah. When I say Jehovah, okay. I'm saying the Father. That's what okay, I'm so now, so well, for I'm Jesus saying, to be Jehovah, he has to be the Father? Here's my claim. He is not the Father. That's the claim. And who told you the Father alone is Jehovah? Uh, I mean, that's just... that's Just, just to be clear, God. last time he was here, we proved that Jesus was Jehovah. Oh, okay. So he, like we that? already did this. No, you didn't prove he was Jehovah. You proved that he can bear the name of Jehovah. See, that, no. there's no winning with this no, guy. Bearing the name. Yeah. No, said, Listen, he admits Jesus is called Jehovah. He's not Jehovah. Jesus called Almighty. He's not Almighty. Jesus, great. God. <laughs> These are just titles. All right. Okay. In other words, Avery, words, Avery, Avery can, can, I, can I offer this? Can who I offer did, us to read? Maybe we can go to Jack next. Go ahead. Uh, Robin. Who did maybe, Jesus, maybe, maybe Robin help. Go ahead, who Robin. Who did Jesus say our God was? Jesus said the Father's God, but the Father said Jesus is who the Lord God. Who did Jesus say our Let God me repeat. was? Let me repeat. Jesus said, which part? Are you talking about Mark 12, 29? He's citing a passage. No, I'm not even talking about What are you referring about, to? No, I'm talking I'm about, about Revelation, John, 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 John 20, 20. Okay, 20. let me answer you. John 20, 17, I'm ascending my Father and your Father to my God and your God. But the same right. God the Father called Jesus God and Jehovah in Hebrews 1, 8 to 12. And who did the Father call God and Jehovah in Hebrews 8, 1 to 12? Uh, Jesus. Say it he again. Compare, the Father Jesus, did what? Compare those names. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Just I want to hear it. The Father called Jesus. He called God Jesus. and Jehovah. He called them God, meaning he's a he's a ruler with authority. That's not Hebrews one eight to twelve, because they're in ten to twelve. Oh, no, that is okay. Can I finish what ten to twelve says? The Father is quoting <laughs> Psalm one hundred two, which is about Jehovah laying the foundation of the earth and making the heavens with his hands. Rolling them up, but he remains the same. It doesn't change. And there the father takes those words about Jehovah and says it to the son, identifying the son as Jehovah who created the heavens and the earth. Yeah, that's fine. The father created everything through the son. But there the father says, you, my son, you made the heavens by your hands. You the laid father the created everything through the son. There the father says... The heavens are the work of your hands. Quick, 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 quick question. The quick question. Quick, wait, 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 wait. Quick, quick, yeah. quick question. Maybe we'll go to Jack next. Go ahead. Quick, quick question, uh, Dylan. And then I, I'll, I want Avery to read the verse. Um, the the I mean, Father's going to create the universe through the Son. Why does He need something like the Son to create the universe? Can't He just create the universe? Well, we did. We nobody said that he needed to do that that's how god has chosen to create everything he's chosen why do you think he chose to do it that way uh i mean we know the father loves the son he made he created everything through him why did he create the him. son why did he why did he create the he, son because god is love like okay. what other so, he, so he creates he creates a creature well, he and create then through the this son. creature no, 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 he didn't create the sun. The sun was begotten. The sun proceeded okay, forth. We'll get to begotten one before you do that. All right. All right. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. So well, here's the verse. Here's the verse. Here's, verse. here's the verse. Rob, Rob, don't let him run because here he just said the father created the sun. No, he did it. No, I said no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. So just, I, I'm, I've am i been waiting patiently. Alone. <laughs> Jehovah created alone. So are you saying New Testament contradicts the Old Testament? <sighs> 
repeat that? The Old Testament says Jehovah created all things by himself, all alone. But you just said the Father Jehovah, created... Yeah, Jehovah is the mind behind creation. So it That's says not Jehovah. what the text say. It says I'm Jehovah telling you what himself. it means. I don't care if you... I, listen, Sam. That's I don't care not you, what the verses say. Yeah, listen, if you read that Hope text... 9, verse 8, read it if you me. read that text and you don't interpret it the same way I do... That, I don't care. You don't have the Holy Ghost anyway. You're dead in your sin. Okay. So can we go to Jack? We're wasting our time with this guy. All right. All right. Wait. Uh, <laughs> since you brought up, since, wait, wait, wait. Since you let, brought up Titus. You're, 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 you're dead in your sin. No, no, no. no wait, wait. wait. Avery, it's just one verse. Yeah, like, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So since you brought up Titus 2.13, go to the next chapter, chapter 3. And read verse so from verse four onwards. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a. God hymn. is our savior and Jesus is our savior, right? No, but you don't understand. It's a title, Rob. Yeah. No. <laughs> but wait, wait, how's? <laughs> so it's it's a hymn that Paul quotes. It's a creed that Paul quotes. Where? In Ti in Ti not in Titus, Titus three. three. First Timothy three. No, 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 no. Titus three. What hymn? So from verse four onwards, it's a he he breaks into a You're like he quotes a hymn. Okay, that's what you got. You confused me there. Three to four. Yeah. Chapter so what three. is what does verse four say? I'm eating. God our Savior. So when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, literally manifested. Mm -hmm. So this is incarnation. It's a title, man. Uh, so why does so so Dylan? Why does Paul like you just saw two thirteen? Especially with the Grammar Shop uh, construction, that it's great God and Savior Jesus. It's not King James, Rob. Yeah, listen, Rob. When it says wait, the... wait, wait, wait. So then, the very next chapter, he then and all scholars agree from verse four down. It's it, it's a creed, like Philippians two and First Corinthians fifth. This is a creed that he that he's the creed starts in verse four. So the creed starts by saying, "When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior." Through the incarnation. He's literally saying Jesus is God our Savior. In no, no, he's saying, James, no, Rob. no. Here's what it's saying. No, the goodness and loving kindness. Jesus is that representation. The goodness and kindness go. of God is made manifest <laughs> in Jesus. There you go, Rob. But no, well, no Dylan. scholar, no church, no no patristic. Dylan, hold on. I want to help you here. Dylan. No one interprets Rob. the verse that you've just interpreted. Rob, you well, don't Rob, have the Holy Rob, Ghost, Rob. Rob. You're gonna burn him up, Rob. Rob, it's I a can't title. Back, Shut up, Rob. Dollars, but I really then look don't. up the Greek word for appear because appear there's no, literally King manifest. James. King James correct the yeah, Greek, Rob. Just, yeah, Rob, I said the same thing. The loving kindness of God is made manifest in Jesus. So no, his man of no, because John 17, verse 4 and 5 speak about Jesus saying, I've manifested your name. Manifest languages. Okay, Rob, what happened to you? Now, can we go to Jack? Is Jack there? Is something happening? Like I'm flipping yeah, around? There, there no, was some, like, quick the guy, no matter what you say, he's going to say it's titles. Let's go to Jack. Let's, Jack has been I, I want to have a conversation with Rob, but Sam, you keep... No, because Jack is not able to answer questions. I know you want to run. It's okay. But poor Jack has been waiting. Rob, <laughs> I don't want to run. 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 I bring up... Sam, what do you think I'm afraid of, Sam? No, no. We yeah, can probably come back to you. We can probably come back to you. Run from what? Run from you? Jack, you're an anti trinitarian or you don't believe in the Trinity, Jack? Okay, let come on. Yeah. I'm I'm scared. I'm running from you, Dylan. You scare me. I don't think I scare you. Goes. You're a dead man. I know. I'm dead, yeah. I'm walking dead. What is what's up, Jack? Can y'all hear me? Just want to make sure yeah, real quick. Yeah. All right, shalom, everybody. Uh shalom. Um, what's good with y'all? Well, how um, was that? <laughs> not at all. Uh yeah, I'm not a Trinitarian. Um for specific reasons. Um, I do believe that Jesus is a manifestation of God in the flesh. I just, 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 I do not affirm the belief that the Holy Spirit is a separate person outside it. And the reason for that is because if you exegete properly, it doesn't quite match up. Um, okay. And it doesn't add up with the creation model that you explained that you got from that Kenneth, the dinosaur guy that says like three times space matter and then the Trinity and that it doesn't ma match up when you read Job 38. It's a firmament based type creation. Um, but if you just take the, the, the bearer sheet in the beginning 
in Genesis, right? And you take the Hebrew words, right? And we, we, I heard you speak in Hebrew on here. We understand it is a colorful language. You take the letters, you separate them. It gives you a whole different or a whole in-depth yeah, yeah. view yeah, of what's going on here. Metria, go to the objection of why the spirit is not. I got you. So I got you. I'm getting to it. So you get you get the bet, the resh, and the sheet, or in the tav, right? It's the bet is a tent. The resh is a man, and the tav is a, is a cross that seals everything. Therefore, there's the, if you believe that he's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, meaning he is the beginning. That's why Genesis doesn't say at the beginning. It says in the beginning, God created. My, 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 my first question will be to you is, if you believe that Jesus is the word of God, where was Jesus before God spoke? Jesus is the one who spoke creation into being. Can't but, be. He can't, uh, he can't be the word. <laughs> can, I, can I get there? <laughs> You can laugh. I don't know why. You laugh at scripture. That shows me demonization. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing at your interpretation. Can I get to your answer? First of all, let me correct you on your mistaken notion of the Holy Spirit. John 16, 12 to 13. Can I answer you step by step if you really want me to answer you? I'm with you. John 16, 12 to 13. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to scoop on Genesis 1 because you butchered it, trying to go into Gematria as if you know Gematria, but that's okay. John 16, 12 to 13. Come on. Here, here's, here it is. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whoever he hears, he will speak. So who is he hearing from? Who is, who is Jesus hearing from right here? No, the spirit of truth that in John 14, 26 is said to be the Holy Spirit. Who does the Holy Spirit hear from? He hears from... It's like that's the thing. I can't answer that question the way you want me to because I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit is separate from God. He hears from the Father. I didn't ask that question. I'm asking you basic. It says he hears from someone. He I, understand. I understand. He hears from the Father. The Father is the one that sent his spirit. So who's he hearing from? The Father, the one who sent his spirit. Oh, so the spirit hears from the Father. Yes. So that so means the Father speaks to the Spirit? He can if he wants to commute with his own spirit. Definitely. So, and then the Spirit speaks on whose behalf? On the Father. It's the same person. It's the oh, same being. Oh, wait. So let's go with the same person. So the Father. No, the same being. Not, same being. Same being. We're going to go. Everything that I said. Same person right? and same being. Same person and same being. It's not okay, separate. Let's go with the same person. It's not so separate. Father, <laughs> you're talking over me. You know, that means you're scared. If you're not scared. It's not. You're, you're trying to misrepresent what I'm saying. does that all the time. Himself, the Father sends himself in a different mode. And then speaks to himself and hears from himself and then communicates what he said to himself in a different mode. Is that what okay, I got you. When he was speaking to the person who he heard from was the, the Holy person. Spirit, a person sitting next to Jesus talking to him in his ear. What are you talking about? Why exactly. When you're saying that the Holy Spirit heard from the Father who sent him, right? And he's communicated with Jesus in this particular passage. Oh, I didn't or say he talk, Jesus or who else he's talking to in this particular passage. Who I didn't say that. Okay, you said someone is hearing and another person is hearing from someone else and communicating yeah, with someone else. Exactly. So is who's that hearing? person that's hearing and communicating, is he in another body sitting directly next to somebody? To body to he's hearing in his ear because that's what Trinitarians You're believe. They believe my answer. I the Holy Spirit is a body. Who says he needs a body to hear? Stop butchering the text. Because you need question. ears to hear. <laughs> Why does he need to have a body to hear? He needs ears to hear and eardrums in airways. Psalm 94 9 says you're lying because God hears and he doesn't have ears. Psalm 94 verse 9. He has a body and he has ears. You're quoting that out of context. It's out of context. You want to bet? What kind of body does God have? He has a spiritual body. Prove it. Sean's been proving it to you all night. Made no, he hasn't. Sean got buried like he's made in his image. Prove it. We're made in his no. image. Oh, my goodness, dude. Go right, to so We're made in his image. I just proved it to you, Goofy. Okay, but the woman is in God's image, so God has tits? No, no the woman is not in God's not image. Not in God's image. Hold on. Dylan, Dylan, I'll let you talk. Dylan, Dylan. Genesis 1 to 26. Let me get it. Let me get it. Dylan, let me get it. Hey, Dylan, Dylan, let him work, man. Let him cook, man. Dylan. Back up. Chill, 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 uh, Sam, I disagree with that 100%. The woman is not made in God's image. The woman is made in man's image, as Paul says. <laughs> okay. Oops, hold on. Let me uh, get it all. Get it. So was Paul lying when he said the woman was made for man and God was made and, and man was made for God?
I got you. So was female created on the same day as male? Oh, what <laughs> at the, so not the same day, at the same time. At the same time, God created male. Was female male? Was female okay, yeah, okay, body made at the same time? Let me bear you that you think you got me. Hold on. Now, first of all, before you run to Genesis 2, which will be your burial, just be patient. When Not Genesis says, 2, Genesis 1. And I read Genesis 1, 26. Then we're going to read Genesis, 2, Genesis 5. Let us make, go ahead. There, when it says man, the word Adam, who was mm -hmm. the Adam that he made? Ahadam, uh, Ish. No, it's the word Ish is not there. See, that shows you you don't know Hebrew. That's in Genesis 2. Here it's oh. Adam. Who was the Adam that he made? The man, Adam, Adam, Ahadam. Finish it, male and female. That's why in Genesis 5, 2, it says he named That's them it. both Adam. Okay, Genesis, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because there's two clauses. Adam. Sam, Sam, no, they weren't. There's two clauses here. Can you open up Genesis no, 5, no. Look at me, look at me, look at me, Sam. He yo, made yo, 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 yo. Wait, I'm not yo. done. I'm not yo. done. Yo, what? chill, relax. You're you're too loud right now. Genesis five, yeah. Stop. Man, talk over all the time. Calm I'm just down, dude. You're Genesis the only one who's talking over somebody right now. Okay, let's okay. Have okay. Have okay. Okay. okay, I'll let you finish. Genesis I'll let you finish, and we gonna go back. You're talking too much, bro. Relax. Genesis five two in the King James to school this guy that they're both called Adam. Genesis five two. They're not. Look, all right. That's why I said Adam. That's why I said man there, and then it said male and female later. It no, says, right here, time, it says ish and isha. Hey, calm down. Let the Bible speak. I know oh, you're you talking. Why are you saying calm down? Not yelling. I'm talking. No, you're not yelling. We can hear you no. five miles away. Genesis five two. I'm right in front of my computer. That's why. Okay. And that's an echo in here. Okay, tell me what the, God named them, male and female. What was their name on the day were created? Verse two. Read it for me. I'm sorry. What happened? Repeat the question. Genesis 5, verse 2, on the day he created male and female, what, did he, what was their name? What was their name? Give it to me. Read it. It's right there. Ahadam. Read it, dude. Can't you read the English? I can, but what you're asking me isn't. Can you read the word? Oh, I'll read it. Male what and you're asking female, me isn't said right here in the scripture. <laughs> male and <laughs> female. You're yeah. Male and female created them. Keep talking over the word of God. And Go blessed ahead. them and called their name Adam. In the day when they were created. So was the female called Adam? I'm sorry. What are you talking about right now? Wait, wait, wait. Male and female created he them. Yes. And blessed them and called their name Adam in the day Many when they were created. So I didn't did say that. Female Adam? I didn't say that. I didn't say what you said. Did he call the female Adam? I didn't say that. No. you, dude. Sam, it's only because they were one flush. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. He what called he call male. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Yes, he called. He called the male and female Adam. Yes. Oh, and this is now reverting back to Genesis one. So let's go back to my point. Let's go. When he created male and female, both mm -hmm. of them were created in his image. No. 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 Verse one. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. It's right there in verse one. Wait. No. no. This no, is not. the book. This is the book of the generations of Adam and the day that God created man. The word is Adam. Mm -hmm. This and the Lord of God made he him, male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Yes, the female with the male is in the image of God. No, right. it's no. no, no, she was called it's Adam. Not. They were called the female Adam. was built later. Did the female come out of man? Yes, yes. but Did not she at have the same, same nature of man. Well done. Did she have the same flesh. nature? Of yes, flesh, the same name, the same nature. Yes, okay, so flesh. wait. So even if we go with your perverted logic. First Corinthians 11, 78. If the man, the male, by the mm -hmm. way, women just tells you their view of women. Stay away from right. these guys. Right. The male is created in the image of God, but the female comes out of him. Hold on. If she's flesh of his flesh, bone of his bones, and she's one flesh with him, that means if he's the image of God and she came out of the image of God, that means she's the image of God. No, Whoa. She's, the, no she's, mm -hmm. she's the image of man. <laughs> it means she's made in the image of man. Like no. No, she's hey, the image may of I man. respond now? May I respond? Please, hold on. Let's scroll down. Because uh, yeah. Avery's busy. You're, you're, this is five yeah, three. yeah, you get like 30 minutes. Can I respond? Because Can you read three to show that if you come out of Adam, then you're in the image of Adam, therefore the image of God? Avery, scroll down before the rapture, dude. We can't see three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Do that. Okay. So if you come out of Adam, you are in the image of Adam and therefore the image of God. Here you go. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image, and he called his name Seth. Now refute this. Go ahead. Who's the head of woman? Dylan, let me have this, bro. I'm sorry. All right, you got it. Dylan, you're gonna let, him, let him cook. Dylan, let him cook. 
We go back to Genesis 1, right? It says he created man, man, mankind, the species, a new species, right? He created man, Adam, Ahadam. Then he said male and female. He separated them by sex. Not then. He's saying what he did. Because if you go and you read the other creation books, like Enoch, like Jubilees, you understand that woman woman was created later. I'm I'm going. Let me me cut it. Dude. You see what I'm saying? God logic. If he could, if yeah, I can't talk to him, he can talk to me. That's very that doesn't correlate. Let <laughs> Let's go. Sam, let him cook. Let's go. <laughs> right? Oh, cool. So we go, we go man. Then he said he, he made them Ish and Isha. That's it's, in Genesis it's, it's two. Not their, it's not their names. It's man. Genesis 2. That's not what I quote. I quoted Genesis. What was their name? You started in Genesis 1, my guy. You started in Genesis 1.26. Am I right? Genesis 1. Then you went to Genesis 5. <laughs> I have, I have dang near perfect perfect recall. I know exactly what you said. Genesis 5, reiterate Genesis 1, that they're both called Adam, yes or no? They're called mankind, yes. I said that. Okay, so then get to the point. If they're both called Adam, then the Adam that was created in Genesis 1. That Genesis wasn't Genesis. their name. <laughs> so wait, in New Testament, when the male is said to be Adam, when it says Adam, sin, that's not his name? That's his species, mankind. His no, name is talking fish. about the male... In yes. Romans 5, 12 yes. to 21. So is that male called Adam? Is that his name? What male? Open up Romans 5, 12 for this. Thank guy. you. Open it up. Well, how you guys deal with these areas. And I love how you just love going right into where I'm breaking down everything. And then you get yes, to ask these yes, questions yes. in the middle of my breakdown. Oh, yes. I don't get to ask you nothing. I got okay, to be quiet. I got to chill. Is the first do. male, is his name Adam? Yes or no? Is the first male named Adam. His name is Ish. Can you open up <laughs> Romans 5 before the rapture? This guy's killing me with his butchering of scripture. Okay, let's see. Romans 5. Okay. Reverse. Yeah, from 12 down. Let's see what his name is. All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, for unto law, the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. For nonetheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. So is Moses yep. a name? Is Moses a name? Yes, that's Moses' name. Adam to Moses. Who's that Adam? Adam is the first man, Ish. So what is his name? <laughs> his name is Ish. He's male. Adam. That's the Can first you show me man. what it says Ish there? What's his name? It's not going to say it there because it's written in Greek, dude. <laughs> oh. So then why are you giving me... A Hebrew word in a Greek text because the equivalent to ish. Would Bro, be you went to Greek. We were in Hebrew. And dear, the Greek we, word. We, we, we were in Hebrew. We were in point. Hebrew. You went to Greek. And I make my point. The New Testament is written in Greek. If you will allow me to make my point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you think? The word I'm for ish in Greek would be andir. I know you want to talk over me. So I know. Now, why is it that Adam, uh, Paul did not use the word andir, which is the Greek equivalent of ish? But he said his name is Adam, like Moses' name is Moses. Because so he's Adam. referring to the first man. And the first man. What is his name? Was Adam. The first what man was Adam. Name? The first of mankind was Adam. What's his name? The first of the mankind species okay. was Adam. Okay. So when you What's see Adam, you understand he's talking about Adam. Since you can't. But he's talking about. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Because wait, wait. Let's stay here. Stay here. Because if we're talking about female, it wouldn't say Adam, would it? If we were talking about, if we're talking about, we're talking about Eve to Deborah, it wouldn't say Adam, would it? It would say Eve, wouldn't it? What are you talking about? Exactly. You're, Stop. You just told You're me. Strong. Hold on. You just You're told strong. me Adam. And I finished. You're strong. Okay. You just told me I do it too. Adam is not a name. So do you admit Adam is the name of the first male? In Hebrew, Ahadam means a species. Let's try this again. Do I'm going to ask you the same way. I'm going to ask you the same way. Okay. Now let me bury him when it says species. Because in Genesis. Wait, wait. Can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? Open can you answer my question? 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 I can't hear him. Go he didn't ahead. answer my question. I actually buried you in the answer. You don't get it. Answer my question. Genesis. You don't answer so my question. Is question. question. This dude. Dude, can you control the demon that's pricking you? I mean, there's Genesis not a demon four, in there. It says Ha Adam New Eve. <laughs> is that Adam there? Is that his name? Because he's distinguished from Eve. What chapter is that? Genesis 4, verses 1 or 2. All right. Bible hopping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No like context. Bible ping pong. Wait, no context. Ping pong. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. No now, context. Tell me what the Hebrew word I don't know if you just be an ass okay. the whole tell time. Tell me what the Hebrew word for Adam is. Adam knew Eve's wife. What's the Hebrew here in Adam? Uh, that is ish. Because you know, of the you context. kind of stupid. Open up Bible Hub. It's not ish. It's Adam. Open it up. For it him. might be. 
It might be. If he's referring to his wife, then it's Isha. No, it doesn't say. Well, yeah, the white part. I'm talking about Thank the you. name, not the wife. <laughs> that the context matters. Okay, <laughs> what's his name in context in Genesis 4 1? His name Stop is Adam because he was the first man. You can't ignore the okay. context. What's the name here that the man who slept with Eve? Eve is her name, right? Yes. Eve is okay, her name. what is his name? Adam. I said so that. you now agree Adam is his name. I said that. No, you didn't. He was the, yes, I Whoa. did. No, you didn't. Yes, Whoa. I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Whoa. You're not listening. You're He's not listening. I said you that Adam is not his hey, name. You, you're, sorry, you're not listening. Yeah, you're not listening. listening. I said Adam. That's why hey, I asked you that question. Of no, you said Adam means Jack, mankind Jack, and species. Jack, you Jack, liar. Jack. Oh, hold on, Jack. Jack, hold on a second. Hold on. Your entire argument this entire time, I've been listening. I've went to go get a drink. I've been listening. Is that Adam's name is not Adam, it's Ish. You better believe but it. Adam refers to his nature as mankind. He's man. That's what you were saying. So now you're admitting that his name is Adam. So I, hold on, I'm, I'm about to unmute you so you can talk. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. What's that? In happen? context, yes. That's why I told him earlier. In context. Okay, good. When you're speaking to Adam, you're going to say Adam. Is this, it possible that you could turn your mic down a little bit, man? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to. How do you do that? I don't know how to do that. Uh, what like? Because uh, I'm on like a Chromebook. I can do it. No, I can't. Can you do it? I don't know. There's some clicking. All right, I can try. All right, go ahead. Uh, unmute yourself. I don't think I was muted. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, right. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. All right, I can just move further back. So in context, context matters, right? When in that context, when it's return, when it's referring to Adam, it's going to Moses, right? It's going to say Adam because it's talking about the first man. That's why I asked him the question about Eve. Will it say Eve? When it says Deborah, it will. If it's if it's referring to a length of time in two different people, it's not going to say Adam like he's saying Eve's okay. name was Adam during during creation. Yes, it is. Yes, Genesis it is. five Genesis two says, her name, says her name was Adam. So what's her name right here, my guy? Okay, okay, my guy. My no, 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 no. Don't, 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 Can don't. I answer your question. Your what's her name right here? I'm going to I'm answer going your, to question. your question. Please. Can you mute yourself because I can hear you myself through you. The female was originally called Adam, then Isha, and then Chava. She's given three names because I know in your world, you can only have one name. I know that's your world. The woman, the woman her name is Adam, Isha, and Chava. Here, this name was given to her after she sinned in Genesis 3.20 by Adam. No one is disputing that her name is Eve. What you were trying to tap dance and run away from is that her name is also Adam. So now correct yourself and say, I'm wrong. She has more than one name. Admit it. Admit it. I never said that she didn't have more than one name. Oh my I'm goodness. saying in that context, was it calling her Adam or Eve? Okay, you so didn't do answer we agree my question. Now, with this tap dance. <laughs> this tap dance do you no. Agree now? You, Adam is male and female in Genesis 126. Do we agree? Adam is male and female in Genesis 126. This guy, why do you, why, why do you hear him through the computer? Yeah, I don't can, know. Do you have can, uh, YouTube, you have open? YouTube can, open? No, I don't. I don't have anything else open. It's probably Dylan. Or, I, mean, I don't want to blame Dylan, but it's probably someone else with their mic on. It turns your mic on and you yeah, hear Dylan, it. You know, you're uh, on mute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to blame anyone, but it's probably someone else opening their mic or it could be uh, no, feedback from God logic or something like that. Um, yeah. but, Let me try. Let me try. Okay, so okay, let's come back again. Come on. You now agree that the female... The female... Man, what, is this, Man, what is this, bro? Do you now agree the female, yeah, it's from you, Jack, is also called Adam in Genesis 126, now that we took 20 minutes to get to this point? My volume was too loud. I asked you the same question that you asked in the context that you asked it about Eve, and you ran from the question. Okay, let me repeat my answer because I know you didn't get it. In Genesis 1, the female is called Adam with the male. In Genesis 2, 23, she's called Isha because she came out of Ish. And in Genesis 3.20, she's given a third name, Chava. Which part of my answer wasn't clear? So let me repeat my answer, my question. You're not you. answering you my agree? question because I understand all that. Okay, do you agree? You're answering a question I didn't ask. Adam in Genesis 126? 
You're answering a question that I didn't ask, my guy. Do you agree she was called Adam in Genesis 127? No, and I believe that Adam was a trans person. So what's your next objection? You believe Adam not, was what? Can, wait, wait, Adam was what? Transhuman. I do not believe Trans what? No. Trans what? A transhuman. Transhuman. So he's like transgender? I said, I do not believe he was a transhuman. Okay. So when the Bible says male and female, he called them Adam. Do you agree or no? Do you agree or no? Do we need to read it again? Spend another 20 minutes on what's obvious? Someone keeps muting my mic. So I mute, I mute you every time Sam speaks because there's an echo, Jack. Yeah. No, no, we took care of turning my volume down. Oh, no, you did. Uh, can still hear the echo. still there. There's a bad echo. All right. Okay. Do we now agree? Not waste another 20 minutes. The female is called Adam with the male. Yes or no? Genesis 5 2, Genesis 1 26. Or do you need to read it again? No, I'll just ask you this question. When you, when, no, 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 because you do the same thing. When you marry your wife, do y'all have the same name? Yeah, she has my last has name. My name. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, so we agree then the female is called Adam, right? No, not in Genesis 1. There's a different context there. You mean in Genesis 1 26, where the Adam is male and female, and then reiterate in Genesis 5 2. So Genesis 5 2 is disagreeing with Genesis 1. So let's look no, at Genesis I'm not 5 2. No, I'm Do saying that they're two different contexts. In Genesis 5 2, that she's called Adam. Let's go with Genesis 5 2. What are we saying? Do you agree, Genesis 5 2, male and female, they're called Adam, Genesis 5 2? Yes. And what is Genesis 5 1 2 echoing? The book of Enoch that came later or Genesis 1, 26, 27? No, it's, it has its own context of Genesis 5, 2 because they just what had a child. What is it so referring married. back to? They just had a child. It's a new context. They just and had a child, the so they're now got one to do flesh. With the author reiterating the point he made in Genesis 1. You're, you're no. not on drugs, are you? They just had a child, so they're now so one flesh. What's your question about the Holy Spirit? Let's go back to that one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He went on this whole rabbit chase. The Holy yeah, Spirit, exactly. my objection is... The Holy Spirit is not a person separate from God. Well, it's yes, Romans 8, 26, 27. 26, 27. But Trinitarians, Romans 8, 26, 27. Say, Trinitarians say that the Holy Spirit is separate from God. Romans 8, 26, 27. I'll answer you. We'll see. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. When we get to Genesis chapter 1, when God is creating the world, and this, you, you, are you familiar with the law first mentioned? You mean in Genesis 1-2, the law of Elohim, the law first mentioned? Are, are, yes. Are you are you familiar with the law first mentioned? Yeah, which is in, made in, up. In, it's not in Scripture, so, but yeah. Okay, Genesis thank you. Let's, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. When Romans 8-26-27. Read it. For when me. we get to Genesis 1, I'm going to finish my sentence. When we get to Romans Genesis 8, 1, 26, right, and it says, And the Spirit of God hovered over the face of the waters, right? We skip later to Elijah passing his mantle to Elisha. It no, says the spirit of Elijah was no. on Elisha. So you're telling me that Elisha's spirit came out of him and Elijah is a okay. trinity. Nice nice way of trying to run from Genesis. I'm it's gonna not. It's not. It's the I'm same question. I'm going to come back to Genesis. I'm going to use Genesis to bury your argument. Just be patient. I'm not like you. But first you said Jesus, the spirit is not a distinct oh, person. Hold on, hold on. Jack, you have to mute when Sam speaks, bro. Did he leave? He probably accidentally clicked out. All right, anyway. All right, we'll wait for him to come back. So who else you want me to address? Oh, Roger Roger Leslie is here. All right, well, okay. Let's see. What's up, Roger? Let's see if he comes back, the other guy. Genesis Can 1. Can you guys he hear me? Elijah, not, uh, yeah. All right, unbelievable. Hello? Yeah, what's going on, Roger? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I was listening. Uh, really good talk. Uh, I just wanted to know really quickly from Sam, just so I know, Trinitarians seem to have uh, – a range of different understandings of the Trinity. I just wanted to know exactly what you, what God logic and you believe the Trinity is. Well, God logic and me believe the Father, the Son, and Spirit, three eternal divine persons, not the same person who are the one God. Okay. Not the same person who is the one God. Um, they are not the same person. They're the one God. Okay. What makes what makes them different? You're saying they're not the same. The fact person. that what they love one another, speak to one another, and communicate with one another. Okay. Uh, I know. I think if you read in the context of the Bible, this is written. In the Why are you story. asking me to define the Trinity and then say no? that is because well, every time I speak to Trinitarians, they seem to have a different understanding no. of one Trinitarians another. Trinitarians who are informed all have the same understanding of the Trinity. That is, I'm sorry, I'm just going no, off you're my wrong. experience. Get to your objection, people... dude. Stop your nonsense. Get to your objection. Okay, my objection is that the Trinity doesn't exist. It's not supported by Prove the Bible, it. and you guys Prove it. are. 
was oh okay simple Proof. god all right and first let's let's do this let's do this yeah give me verse come on man get there Boom, give me verses prove it <laughs> why are you laughing Avery? <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway maybe in about 20 minutes uh unless it takes longer we wrap it on because i want to go pump some iron look like you Dylan, you're gonna go this to my channel if you're gonna you can be respectful you seem like you're okay i like you don't right even though i don't have the holy ghost dylan i'm gonna burn in hell can okay. you pray for me <laughs> all right hey uh, Dylan, you look assyrian by the way shame are, are you a syrian no you look assyrian you can be one of my peoples my peeps baby no. I'm what nationality are you? Do you mind me asking? Puerto Rican. Get out of here, man. Yeah. Man, you're stabbing me in the heart, bro. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Roger, what's your proof? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'll... Okay, give us the verse. Come on. Before okay, the rapture, look, Roger, Yeah, it looks like you guys can't hear me. Can you hear me or no? Yeah, we can hear you, buddy. We don't okay. Hear you, buddy. I, I, I'm, all right, I'm not going to go to the other app. If, uh, Roger, can you put up John 1 and 1 or... Sam, you already oh, know. Beautiful. John 1 and 1 makes it in clear the beginning that the John, the God, the John 1 God. makes it very clear that in John 1 and 1 and John 1 14 that the Spirit of God became a man. So it was in man, what? Jesus. Wait, wait. What became what? The what Spirit of God. Like? God is a Show Spirit. Me the word Spirit in John 1. That's just the, the word is the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Show that. I, to me. It says that God is the Word. Give me a second. I got it. It says that's the Spirit, meaning the Holy Spirit. Okay, so, okay. All right, thank you, Logic. Uh, when I go to the other app, it just doesn't, uh, yeah, you guys okay. can't hear me. Show me where it says the word is the Holy Spirit or the Spirit. The, by Spirit, I think you mean Holy Spirit. Show that to me. Uh, no, and, and and later in John, is um, Jesus stated that God is a Spirit. But here it says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was was with God, and the Word was God, correct? And then if we go down to one uh, to you know John 1, 14, yeah, the word became flesh, dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay. There it is. And then also, if you go back to a multitude of scriptures, I listen, right now, you know, it's, I'm a little bit tired. I, I will, I will. And Isaiah 9, 6, it clearly states when yeah, Jesus is coming, that is going to call him the everlasting father. Okay. So and and a couple of other that? scriptures, and a couple Buddy, of other scriptures. I'm laying down my point first. No, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm okay, done. so do you want an answer? I'm done quoting the scriptures. I just want to say answer? one thing. I just want to say one thing before you go. The Bible I'm makes not going. I want to answer you. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Answer. Okay. John 1.1, 1, 1, you said this shows the spirit became flesh. What do you mean by spirit became flesh? God is the spirit. I didn't ask you that you God did. is the spirit in John 4.24. That's God. You asked father. me how did it become flesh. No, that's Jesus, not what I asked you. Jesus let's, is Roger, let me repeat Jesus. It again. Roger, one more time. Let's pretend you're listening. No, you said listening. here the spirit became flesh. Correct. Where God does it say spirit. the word is the spirit? What spirit became flesh? The word is God. Okay. Correct? It makes it really clear in John 1 and 1. Not then it says in 1 14. Oh, it makes it very clear. No, it doesn't. Sam. Not it makes the way you're butchering clear. it. It okay, says go ahead. with God. With God. What does with it mean me. with God? Okay. So the word here, and many people will agree that it refers to Jesus. That is correct. So I just, what does it mean I just, with God? To be with God, it's just, uh, I don't know how you would explain this. No, explain right it. Now. It's right there. I don't need you. You explain it to me. It says it was with God and the word was God. So you so can't ignore mean that he's with second. God? Um, I can say as if that he practically is God, has the same authority. They, wherever God no, is, he That is. says he was God. That tells you what his nature is. But what does it mean he's with God? Who's the God he's with? He is with no other God, my friend. There's only one it's God. It's right in I, front of you. The word was Isaiah God. makes it pretty it's clear God. that God says that he was by no, himself it doesn't. in heaven. Open up yes, Isaiah it does. So I can, let me not Go. Isaiah 9 6. Yeah, that is the one where he's called Abiyad, everlasting father. Dude, I'm telling you what you're quoting to me. Isaiah 9 6. You didn't address John 1. That's okay. I'm gonna address Isaiah 9 6 for you. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Isaiah 9, 6. All right. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That's what you're focusing on, right? Everlasting Father? 
Are you there, Roger? You're the one who mentioned it. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, it's it's him. He uh he might be doing something to, going out of the app. Yeah, yeah, I'm going out of the app. I'm sorry about that. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do that. Hey, everything you need, I got you on, man. Yeah. Uh, good, hey, good looks. Bro. Are you saying he's called the everlasting father? He is. Jesus is called the everlasting father what does it because mean, Abiyad? the what does spirit that mean? of God is in him. Okay, what does it mean that he's Abiyat? Because that's the Hebrew words, right? Uh, I don't I, I don't have that. But of hey, Roger, can I ask you? Because I don't. I'm not trying to hear it humanly. Honestly, can I do? Can I ask you a favor? Yeah, what's that? Go study some of my responses, and then come back to me. And we'll have a respectful conversation because I don't want to put you on the spot. You said you're tired. No, 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 no. Put me on the okay, spot. Because I, I just asked you. Said you don't know. Okay, all right. Let me bury you then. I'm trying to be go nice. Ahead. Aviad. No, go ahead. Enough. You don't. Who's Aviad? That's the me, Hebrew words in Isaiah. Oh, 9. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were actually talking about somebody. No, <laughs> I don't. I, I can't break it down to you. You have to break it down okay. so we can continue. Hold on, Ivory, dude. Wait a second. Okay, so Roger, I'm trying to be nice. Can you go study my article on this and come and then discuss with me and refute me? I don't want to put you on the spot. The, no, for the sake of the argument, there's nobody else here. Just go ahead and continue. What does it mean? Abiyad, the literal translation is my father of eternity, the father of eternity. What does that mean? This guy, mm. dude, Avery, we can hear you laughing. Can you mute yourself so I can focus on this dude? What does it mean to be father of eternity? That's literally what it says. To me, the father of eternity it means that you're at the beginning and the end. So practically, there is no end to you. You're, so you're, you're from close. the very beginning. You're close. To be the father of eternity, the word father means possessor of eternity. I'm sorry. You said in eternity or of no, Father eternity. of eternity. Abiyad, okay, okay. my father of eternity, my father okay. of everlastingness. Okay. <sighs> so where are you so trying literally. to get that this is, this is not, this is different? No, that's what the Hebrew. Can you open up Bible Hub and show them that's what the Hebrew it says? I believe that it, that's what it says, but you okay. still haven't gotten to so the. What point does it mean for him to be the father of eternity? Persons. You you are but, aware you can be the father without being God the Father, right? Because if I use your logic, Abraham's God the Father. You're aware you can be the father of someone without being God the Father. You're aware of this, right? Do I need to prove that? I, uh, yeah, I am aware of this. Okay. But, uh, well, okay, just go ahead. because we'll Jesus is called the Father Eternity doesn't mean he's God the Father. You need to prove that. Yeah, what it's a. It, it doesn't have that Jesus well. is God the Father. I might not have that scripture at the moment. Okay, then can you come back? We can discuss. I'm trying to be nice. No, no, no. What do you want me to do? I'm not here to bully you or intimidate you or humiliate you. That's not my goal if you're sincere. So can you come back when I'm on a live stream? We'll discuss, but go do a little study. I'll give you an article to read. And then you'll be ready. Don't you think that's fair? Uh, I, I don't have an answer for this, but continue. I I, I want to learn more. What's there to continue? You're telling me he's God the Father. I'm waiting for the proof. You need to show me he's God the Father. Yeah, but you caught me. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I don't. Okay. Take this article, at the Roger. moment. Okay, Roger. Look in the private chat. Do you see it? Yeah, I do see it. Okay, please do me a favor. I'm not here to humiliate anyone if someone's sincere. Take mm -hmm. the article, study it, contact me on Skype. We'll continue discussion, man. Mm -hmm. There's no need to me go after you when you're saying you don't know, and I'm not here to humiliate. I don't want to humiliate. No, I, 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 I'll tell the truth. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit nervous. You know, I'm talking to Sam. Okay, that's fine. I'm Can you come back Sam. when you're not So nervous? I might have it. Yeah, just uh, just I'll mute myself. I'll mute myself. I'll okay. be here, but I'll mute myself. Mute no, anyway, myself. because this is going to be it for me. So do me a favor, friend. Roger, if you can be respectful. Come back, we'll talk, because I'm not interested in humiliating you. Just come back. We'll have a friendly discussion. I just gave you my Skype. I promise you I'll be patient with you, because you seem to be a respectful chap, and that's what I enjoy. But I don't want to – You're going to have to unblock me on your channel. Oh, you then there was me. a reason. Okay, then do me a favor. Give me your – well – you can do it on Skype, right? You can come here. Okay, we'll set it up. Okay, Avery will set it up with you. You and me will have a decent discussion. I'll come to your channel, Avery, right? Yeah. Okay, Roger. Here. I really appreciate that, man. And um, I want to answer you. How, I who's setting it up with me, Avery or me. you? Me. Avery will. Uh, Avery. So do I stay here? Or is he going to contact no, me? No, we're going to end it. It's already close to three hours. He's you gotta, you got, are you on Instagram or anything? Facebook? Uh, um. Yeah, I am. On right. Instagram? Yes. Okay. Um, my, my links are in the description of this video. Okay. Oh, okay. So hit me up on Instagram, DM me. Yeah. And so I can connect with you. We'll talk and we'll probably, uh, like, and bring me on. I'll be available. 
Yeah. Within the next few days, we'll or whenever yeah. you you're ready, we can uh you let me know set up the conversation. All right. So now with yeah, that said, brother, it's already close to three hours. I've been six hours like you. I think we should wrap it up for me because I want to head out to get some muscle so I look like you, so I don't be single yeah. tomorrow. We also okay, got to bring Dylan. Dylan Dylan can come and destroy you, too. Yeah, Dylan, come back again, and you can tell me I'm going to hell, and I don't have the Holy Spirit, and I'll appreciate you, okay? Well, I already have. I don't need to say it twice. All right. well, I appreciate you, though. <laughs> yeah, bless you, guys. All right. All right, Lord, bless Take you care. guys. Care, Christ Dylan. Avery, I love you. It's God. Love you, and too. Pray for me and my daughters that we be reconciled, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Christ is risen. Amen, risen in amen, amen. amen. All right, Roger. Yeah, Roger, remember, hit me up on Instagram, okay? It's in the descriptions of this video.